Yes. What the? What's what up? This? What's Wait, up? This episode 13? Yeah, cool. Is it? I guess the unlucky 12. No, it's 12, but we wrote 13. What's up, fellow horror <laughs> fans? Welcome to another edition of Sinister Cinema. I'm Doug. I'm Carlos. And tonight we're talking about, what are we talking about tonight? We're talking about which movies, which, 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 which ones? Which, which movies? Yeah, which movies? Which movies? Yeah, which? <laughs> yeah, which, which movies? Uh, you Won't Be Alone, which is a uh, 2022 movie, January, came out. And then also uh, another 22, 2022 movie, which we don't usually um, do, but uh, Hellbender. Hellbender, but the E's are sixes. Yeah, Hell... His six... Six or... or no, no six. <clears throat> Yeah, so first I think... Um, you had me at 666. Why did we pick which movies? I don't know. I just was like, hey, we should watch these movies. I like witches. But real witches, not these goddamn crystal-waving women nowadays. Yoni I sunning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, if you have to go lay out in the sun and open your fucking butt cheeks so your sun re-energizes you, you're not a witch. I want some old-fashioned black cats and curses and Bernie at the stakes. Which mm, there stakes. were. I, there were no cats in this, right? There was a couple of dogs. Yeah, there were no cats in this, in either one of these witch movies. Yeah. Witch. No, no. There were broomsticks. There was a broomstick at one point. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, but no, no flying on broomsticks. But there were definitely broomsticks. Um. There was a cat in the very beginning. Oh, there was. It actually showed. The 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 very first it was like Stephen King's cat's eye. The cat was running around. The camera was basically from his point of view or her point of view. The cat's point of view. You remember that at the very beginning, the cat's running through the village, and it's like that's the point of view where it. Shit, I'm trying to think of my. I thought it was going to eat a chicken because it goes into a chicken coop, chicken but it just goes through the chicken coop. Why are there only two doors on a chicken coop? Because it's a coupe, not a sedan. Because it made me call it a chicken sedan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here oh, the Thursday. cat was probably the witch. Oh, man. Jamie yeah. should probably actually be part of our stream, not just on it. So I guess that's what we're talking about. You Won't Be Alone. It's our first movie. Oh, my gosh. It's hard to figure out. I'm not good at this. No. Right there. Wait. Still not working. No. <laughs> Won't be alone. So we're going to talk about witch movies, and we're drinking some tiki drinks. I've got a Jaws mug. I have a Cthulhu tiki. They're good. Given to me by my best friend, Omega Trevino. <laughs> Thank you. If you don't know Omega, you should follow her. No, literally go to her house and follow her around. Yeah. Be a creep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she'll appreciate you saying that to her. I'll put the address in the comments <clears throat> in a little bit. So, yeah. about this. Yeah. Um, what What? What were your overall feelings about it? Dude, I, I really like this movie. You were scared, though, because I text you at, like, 2 in the morning. And I was yeah, like, dude, you don't text somebody who hasn't seen a movie. This movie sucks. It's too artsy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, man, I don't want to see this. Well, you told me you were going home to watch it. So I thought you were watching it at the same time <laughs> as me. <laughs> why? why? God damn it. I, I thought you were going home at the same time as me to watch it. So I thought you were watching it with me. I didn't realize I was watching it alone. No. So that's why I felt okay commenting because um, I thought you were. I loved it. it. I it was there was a couple parts that were too artsy when they're doing the voiceovers and she's like, "What if a swallow was really a lizard?" 
And I'm like, what the fuck does that even mean? Yeah, exactly. What does just, that mean? Just fucking... Oh, maybe because they were shape-shifting. Maybe, maybe, but come on, man. Yeah. I just wanted to see some... Boobage. Well, it's you a witch movie. Okay, anytime <laughs> is that a word? Boobage. Yeah, and anytime Numi rapaces in a movie, you're gonna see boobs. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, they showed her almost full, full frontal. Full frontal. Yeah, she loves showing some boobs. She had some bloody part of breasts her and Scandinavian bloody, bloody heritage. Butt. She had a bloody butt. Did she? I don't remember that. Yeah, there was like blood hemorrhoids. Over her. Oh, like running down her butt. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Just thinking of my own traumas. So, did you think it was weird that she was the top build person, and she's only yeah, in it that was for crazy. Like she's on the movie minutes. poster, and she's only in it for like maybe twenty minutes, if that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you said, she dies. Pretty much. Literally, she dies instantly, instantly as soon as you see as her. As soon as you see her, she dies. And I was yeah. like, don't you even fucking tell me that's it. <laughs> that's what I thought. Because I said, is she in this movie? Because like we were like 30 minutes in, and I'm like, uh, she's on the movie poster. Where is she? And then she makes an appearance, and she's dead instantly. And I'm just like, what the hell? Like, literally, she's on screen for what? 15 seconds and she gets killed yeah it was crazy yeah and then she uh the the basic premise is that there's these witches and they can they have the power to become other, other animals and people yeah other animals and people and so the witch becomes her and assumes her life but the witch is is mute and she doesn't say anything in the entire movie other than in her head, the artsy. Like, I wonder if that was poetry. really her narrating the whole movie. Who? Numi? I don't know. I tried to li watch no, uh, the... Biliana. Oh, the other person? The main the main girl. I don't know who was narrating it. I didn't watch that part. I really like the story. The story pretty much, the premise is a woman has a newborn and she yells at some kids right is that why the, the the entity showed up i don't know why it showed up it ha i thought it was because of that because she cursed the kids and then she walks in and the entity's there it's like a, some kind of it's i mean it's supposed to be a witch but it's more like a they call her the wolf curse. the wolf etris yeah it's she's kind of like a curse and she marks the kid because when she turns 16, she's coming back for the kid. Yeah, the mom makes a, a pact with, with her. Like, don't take my kid now. Let me at least raise her till she's 16. Let me get a... And then the mom tries to hide her in a like old abandoned church slash cave. Cave? For 16 like cave. years. Yeah, she's so in the, the girl herself. grows up not talking. Or... Not knowing a goddamn thing about anything. Yeah. And then guess what? On her 16th birthday. The freaking witch comes she to take comes her. She comes a-knocking. Yeah. The mom didn't think she could get her. The mom was trying to keep her away from people. And hidden. the mom actually told the village that she got taken when she was a kid. And then she just went and hit her. <clears throat> but, the, yeah, the witch comes and gets her on her 16th birthday, I guess. I and mean, they don't really show how she... I mean, it's a hawk that flies into the top of the cave. And then the mom shows up. I think it was an eagle. Oh, yeah, it was an eagle. I don't know. Hawk, eagle. It was some kind of raptor. Raptor. A raptor bird. And you just hear kind of like a scratching, screaming, and then the mom comes out. And you know it's not the mom. Yeah, the mom comes out from where she chases the bird, but it's all being weird. And... As they leave, <laughs> yeah, that was she cool. says, "Like, are you coming with?" Yeah, me? are you coming with me, girl? And then it was cool when she's walking away. She's dropping pieces of her guts. Yeah, you don't know what's happening at the at the time, but she's like dropping guts on the ground as she's walking. And after she drops the last piece, she turns around and she's the witch again. Yeah, she's which all basically burning. just looks like a she looks like the cover of Society. You know how it looks all like. 
veiny and burnt and weird. That's what it looks like. I don't see it. You don't see that? Society? That's what it looked like to me as soon as I saw it. I was like, this is like society. That lady's face looks like society's cover. The it kind of looked that. like the Tooth Fairy from Darkness Falls. Or Michael Jackson on a Pepsi commercial. Oh, jacked up. Yeah, so she was burnt, burnt all up. And she just wanted a kid. And she takes the kid, or the 16-year-old, and does some weird spell on her where she, like, scratches her and, like, spits blood it's on it. It's weird. They do, like, this circular claw thing yeah. to mark them. Yeah. And once you have that, you're cursed. Well, That's I mean, she also, sp she also, like, cuts her mouth and spits blood all in it. She spits blood in the wound. And then, and then, uh, and then heals it with some fire. And then all of a sudden that lady's like fingernails all grow and get all little claws on them. That was pretty cool. I, like I was that like, part. man, those look like, those nails look like all the chicks that go down to the strip. <laughs> I mean, that's what I thought. Yeah. They're like this long and they're like and pointy as hell. Do the strip chicks have pointy ones now? Yes, dude. I'm like, I literally want to tell them, how the fuck do you wipe yourself without cursing yourself? Like Maybe they, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, you mean like scratches? <laughs> Circular scratches? <laughs> so she does something pissed off that pisses off the wolf Etris, and that she bans her, tells her to go away, yeah. and says, we'll see how you survive on your own. Well, she starts learning pretty quick. She can inhabit other people's bodies. So it's pretty much, the movie's pretty much her figuring out life because she didn't have one for 16 years, figuring out life, going through different people's bodies yeah, and learning from everyone she inhabits. I, I did think that... I liked it. That's why I liked it. I did think like uh, Numi's character... Um, did uh did a really good job of acting like because that was the very so she sees her witch mom kill a um kill a wolf and put the guts like go like this and you see her you don't see what's actually happening yeah you, you shove the guts, guts into that wound that she makes on you and you turn into it yeah so she turns into a wolf and walks away so she she's like just walking around this village all like well i'm on my own now and sees here's a baby crying and is drawn to it like witches are i guess and she goes in to see it and numi comes in who is the mom and just starts yelling and she just like straight up kills kills the uh kills numi right then who is the mom yeah just turns around and stabs her it's yeah. weird if they want, if they stab you in the gut, you automatically uh, die. They die, I guess. But they have this crazy claw coming out right here that's all big, and then they have these like crazy nails. So she kills uh, Elizabeth, and um, <clears throat> and she goes and uh, she starts. Sh she's she's like, oh, I can do this, and she like rips rips her open, starts shoving her into her, and. And so she turns into her, and a lady comes in, and all she sees is bloody clothes. I guess she shoved her entire body into her. Yeah, yeah, that's what they do, because every time they find the last person... That there's nothing left. There's, It's just skin. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's, 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 it was pretty cool. So, um... Yes. Oh, I didn't realize the wound was a port, Jamie says. Was like a port? I don't understand. Like to, a port. A port in a storm. A port. A potty. Well, um, oh, like that's where you shove the guts. Yeah, yeah, The that's what they like tear it back open and just shove it. Yeah, now, it opens that up. That was good makeup. Yeah, all the makeup in Every there was good. Every time it showed that opening up. So I don't that think, one scene where they're like you can actually it looks like they're actually shoving yeah, it it's in creepy. themselves and I was like holy crap that's pretty so good. I don't really consider this a horror movie it's like a mystical drama really no <laughs> I thought it was horror 
I mean, I did. I don't know. It was weird, but um, I did like it. But did, I, did I you guess go afterwards. Did you go outside and run around your trees with your arms out? Because of the witch power to the moonlight. All my trees died in the last storm. Oh damn! That 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 storm we had. Yeah. The frozen tundra that killed all my trees. I think the part where she gets into New Me is that's uh, the longest. Best, that's, that's one of the best parts of the movie. That's the longest she's in. Well, actually, the the one at the end is the longest. Yeah, but it's weird. Like she, you know, she talks about like I I try to have water come from my eyes and I don't understand. Like she doesn't have any emotions because she's been stuck in this cave for her whole life. Yeah, it's they like think she doesn't understand. They think she's uh, she has. What the, do they call her? Mad what, women's madness. Women's madness. <laughs> After giving birth, she got women's madness. Because she is. Like, she's acting like a damn crazy person. Yeah, and, and she can't talk anymore, and they don't know why. And she's acting all weird, and, like, they're having to show her how to get dressed, and they're having to, like, you know, kind of weird stuff. And But it was really cool because I think that... Uh, Numi is like such a great actress that like she has really good facial expressions and like she can do like emotions really well and I think whenever she's like with the crowd of women and she's saying like oh how do I you know this is what it's like to be yeah that was cool when she's around them and when somebody laughs she mimics them yeah she's like mimicking trying to learn how to laugh and that that was pretty cool and and there were some really good parts like that because it'd be her sitting there and all of a sudden she'd be like <laughs> And then, like, stop, you know, and look at them more. You know, like, she's, it was really cool. Um, and so, like, she, she was trying to, she was trying to figure it out. And it was like, um, you know, it was just weird. It was weird how she, she couldn't figure it out. And, and, and what, how did, why did she leave that body? That's because she, her husband of, uh, of that person that she was pretending to be tried to have sex with her, right? Yeah. And she like, freaked out. She didn't, didn't know what it was. It ripped off his dick, right, I think? I, I don't know. That's kind of like, oh, you just see her hand go down, and he's like, oh, and, like, you know, he's dead all of a sudden, I think. And then she, like, just takes off, right? And she's back to her normal. Does, what is she going to next? Next she goes into. What was she, the dog? Um, that was a cool part. I don't remember. There's just if so that many that she goes into. But ne but she does go into being a man because she's like, oh, man, that's what you're supposed to be. Like, if you want to, like, be, you know, if you want to be something in this world, you need to be a man. And so she goes and she she tempts the a man to come no, to her. No, actually, she, she turns back into herself. Yeah, she turns into herself first. And then she goes... Out and this guy sees her because she's walking yeah. around naked, yeah. and the guy just throws himself at her and starts like, "Yeah, that's what you do in the eighteen hundreds. A naked girl walks in the village. You're like, oh, yeah, that's mine.' Yeah. So he follows so her down. She fucks him up. When yeah, he's she, bleeding from his dick. Yeah, she's yeah. And that's when she's like, "Hey, I'm a man now." Yeah, and she talks about being a man. The the, the all the dialogue in the movie, for the most part, um, is her talking to herself in her head about life and you know what it's like to to grow up and be other people yeah. that's what is weird but um that it was like that was what was like super artsy about it i mean the cinematography was awesome what was really awesome was that they created all these villages and shit that looked like old ass villages that was like really cool i thought but um then you know, yeah, whenever she becomes a man, she's like, oh, I can chop wood and I can do. Yeah, she's like, she's like working. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. a man. This is what a man But does. why did they think, they thought he went crazy for some reason, too. They thought because, he was, because they oh, were like, oh, you want to be banging some no, no, no. witch? They were woman. like, oh, you had sex with that witch and now you're crazy. And they didn't realize it. And then they were like, wait a minute. A witch. Why is he still alive? Yeah. Why didn't she kill him? Yeah. Was he playing with dolls, Jane? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember. At one point, he goes up to those little girls who have the dolls, and he took them, and he's playing with them, and that's when they're like, "Oh shit!" And they try to do like an exorcism on him. 
They're like, get oh, out. yeah, they're all <laughs> like hitting them with like smoke and yeah. shit. Yeah, that was kind of funny. But then that that next one. The next when one. The little, he's walking around and those girls scream, there's blood everywhere. Yeah. And he runs and that chick, the little girl fell off the cliff and all her head. Yeah. And, and that was like her, that's like, I don't remember. I guess the dog was between the woman <laughs> and the. Jamie said, and then they gave up and he was back to work the next yeah, day. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then, but the, the weird thing was like the, um, you know, he runs over because these kids are like, oh, she fell. And you could see like he was the witch she as the guy was like starting to get some kind of like realization of like empathy and stuff because whenever they're like hurting the little kid they're like oh he's a weakling because this little kid can't chop wood he goes over and helps the kid you know he's like oh i want to help this kid doesn't and then, he, she doesn't she finally cry or he cries when he goes up to the little girl well that's later help? yeah so then he go oh yeah yeah so he goes um when he's the man, he hears these kids screaming, and this girl had fallen off a cliff, and she's down there dead. And and he's looking at her, and he actually cries for the first time in the movie. But then all the other villagers come running up, and neither one of them are there. There's just like the the skin of the, the blind. The, yeah, and so and then the little girl, and so he like switched out and, and became the little girl and pretty much lived out the rest of his life as the little girl like actually fell I thought in that love was cool with with the guy with the girl I'm um, like I mean, wow she's living in a corpse yeah but I mean I don't think you I don't think that's what some of the stuff people were online were saying like are they is I mean, I guess it would be alive, but to me, it's just, it's a corpse. Well, it's not a corpse, though, because he's shoving the corpse into him. Or she's shoving the corpse into her. But that means that that corpse is inside of her for her whole life. You know, she rips open her chest and shoves the body into her and becomes that person. You know, it's like a, a illusion. Uh, it's, is that a trimmer tiki cup or a burgundy shark? I can't tell. It's a shark. It's it's Jaws. This is a Jaws uh, Jaws tiki cup from from Mondo. <laughs> Done. What is he saying? I don't know. I also think it's Lux's amber energy that make it difficult to see anything other than his molasses is sweet <laughs> I, I can't even read that it's disturbing it is disturbing we have some disturbing people I know it's oh it's I hate Doug Carlos again oh yeah that guy fuck the Mondo guy with a briefcase and a gun or the Mondo poster guy uh, I think they're the same um yeah so then she falls in love with this dude and gets married Mondo from New York Mondo. Mondo. Yeah. She falls in love with this dude and, like, actually grows up with him and has a kid. That's where she messed up. Why did she mess up? Because she should have just stayed a witch. She was still a witch. The, yeah. And the guy loved her as a witch. So the other witch said, you're not going to be able to do this. They're going to find you out, and, the, and your husband will be the first one to kill you. Oh, that's right, because he she, didn't even he care. He showed her, right? She, she showed, showed her. him that she was a witch. She showed him her little claws and everything, and he didn't even care. He was I like, thought, I'm cool with that. Yeah. I, can, I can get behind this freaky yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was weird. And then she comes home one night and dead. Her baby's dead. No, no. Her husband's dead. Oh shit, free cheeseburger with any purchase on the Sonic app. What does that mean? Dang, I don't even know what that means, Kozvert. Kozvert's Co probably a bot. Kozvert? Kozvert is a Sonic bot. Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. See, got y'all. <laughs> it was fake. Um. <laughs> that was good. Do you, I was about uh, ready to get on the, the Sonic need, app and give me a free cheeseburger. Do you need another but drink? But why? There's delicious vegan burgers here. Do you need another drink? 
How you doing on your drink? Carlos sells cheeseburgers and nothing else mattered. Just like Metallica. The Metallica song. For those of y'all that's been with us a while, we've upgraded. We bought a little scooper here. Instead of using our hands. You, you guys need... ever try the Sonic Seltzers? You need to do a seltzer review. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, they're making seltzers now. Hold on. Like those old tiny drinks so they go and spray at you? Do you need more ice? Yes. Oh shit. Tiki Asmer. What is that? Asmer? Ass, ass Mister. Ass Mister. There you go. Forgot. No, Sonic makes those uh, alcoholic beverages now. What? At the store, yeah. Cherry Limeade. They have a liquor seltzer. license? Oh, at the store. At the Sonic store? Oh my god. I'm done. As Lurk would say, I'm Oh, done. you mean like pre made, like in cans? As Lurk would say, I'm done with you today. <laughs> like in cans? Yes. Oh my god, I just made a mess. What are these drinks called? Tiki? Tiki drinks? No, like what's the name of it? Oh, these spooky. Fruity goodness? It's called a hellbender or something? Volcano bowl. So Ooh. it's a volcano bowl, so it's actually Ooh. supposed to be shaken with ice and then put on other ice. But I think that's garbage. So we just put it straight on ice. That way it doesn't get watered down. No, I hate Doug and Carlos. It does not blow up in your mouth. Sonic ice. No, it's not Sonic ice. It's actually ice from the bar down the street that from Carlos's mom's house. And we go in there. Um, they yeah, so she comes home and her husband's dead. That's pretty fucked. No, I thought it was cool because you automatically know when she goes outside and you see that fucking wild boar with blood all over its oh, tusks. Oh, yeah. You're like, oh, crap. That's yeah. the witch. That's the freaking witch. And her husband's dead. Gored to death. And then and then she runs into where her baby is, right? Yeah, and that fucking... And the witch is there. And the witch is like, bitch, you got what I want. And killed the fucking baby. Slit the baby's throat. No, it didn't. Yeah, she slit the baby's throat with her, with her fingernail. No. Their fucking strip nails. She did the little chigadera no, on No, no, no. The witch she did. like that. No, the the bad witch. The oh, did the witch. did the mom do that to the yeah. baby? Oh, okay. I thought she, she said. You, you know what? I thought. I she was, said. I told you lyric. Don't... I was like, did it just kill the baby? Oh yeah. And the lyric was like, yeah. And then I saw the scratch marks. I didn't know the mom. No. Did it. Yeah, yeah. The grandma slices its throat and says, "Fuck you! I'm killing your baby." And then, because she's jealous, because she, her whole thing, she's called an old maid, because she never got to, I mean, she had a fucked up backstory. They made her marry some guy that was dying, and they, like, Yeah, forced, man, the backstory like, on her, they, they, they're, like, pushing on his so butt, when she so he goes, has sex with her. When she, when she goes into the little girl, the little girl's the one that asks, right? Do you know the story of... The old, Martha, the old maid? Maria. I don't know her name. Maria. Maria. Haggard and Maria. Yeah. Maria, the old maid. And yeah, they tell the story about how she became a witch and it's fucked. I was like, what the fuck? We got somebody for you, Maria. Pretty sure that was her name, right? Yeah, Maria. Yeah. Maiden Maria. Maiden Maria. Old Maid Maria. Old Maid Maria. Yeah, and they, they like make her, they, the guy says, her dad's like, well, why didn't he come himself? And they're like, oh, because the patrols, you know, rebels, oh, yeah, whatever. Patrols. And then she goes, and the dude, and it's a dead. dude who's literally dying. He's like literally on his deathbed. So they tie her up and and shove his ween in her B and push on his butt like this. So he J's till he J's, <laughs> and then he dies. Literally, he probably he might have been dead as soon as the mom was like, "Please don't let him go to heaven being an unman." He's got a is that a thing? Apparently, so like 
they help him have <laughs> sex Kalima. with her. Yeah, Kalima. Kalima. So they like are shoving his junk into her, and over and over and over. Next thing and you she's know, she's saying "Oi, they!" Right? Or what was she saying? Well, before all this happened, she a witch comes to her, or she sees a witch, and she's like. Give me a husband, and the witch does the shit on her and turns her into a witch. She's like, "Fuck off!" Here you go. Yeah, but was it funny. was a curse. Yeah. It was a curse because she got she got jacked, and so she her backstory. She basically gets turned into a witch, and then is forced to have sex with a dead guy. And then she just gets all jacked up and doesn't want to do anything. And but just, she gets pregnant. But then she, but. Wait, what happened then? She was all fucked up. Yeah. Because she was about to die because she was all, like, coughing. And, and she started drinking the blood of the yeah, uh, she had donkeys drink, and shit. Yeah, she had to drink blood of animals and stuff to stay alive. She actually said, I have to drink. Yeah, it is It is like that, but without the, the scientist Is part. that like the movie Love Potion Number 9? Yeah, yeah, it's exact. Yeah, she got real sick. She got real sick. Larry got, she got sick. She said she had, it, there's one part where um, she said, I have to drink the blood to, to basically not die. And, and so. They were like, nah, not in this town. So they dude, strapped her to this crazy, this was before. I mean, I guess that's how they used to burn witches over there. Yeah, they strapped her up and burned her, but she like. It's like one free. of those. It reminded me of, you know, when you go camping and you throw your sandwich in between those two pieces of metal to make toast on the campfire. You're talking about the graham cracker stuff? Is that what that is? The graham crackers and chocolate? I used to make sandwiches. Talking about the marshmallow? No. It's a, it's a metal grate that opens and you put two pieces of bread in there and you shut it and it hinges and it has a handle, and you hold it over the campfire. Make grilled cheese? Yeah, you make or grilled like cheese. Or like pizza pockets. You can make fried bologna at the campfire. Oh, dude, fried bologna is so gross. Bologna is so gross. How do you eat that? I don't get it. Oh, what's wrong with you? You say you grew up poor. Oh, no, you didn't grow up poor, did you? Yeah, but we ate old standbys. White bread, mayo, Velveeta. Jam sandwiches? And if you really like, you could put some panini. You bastard. panini. That's what it's the panini. You were rich. I'm talking about being poor and you're like eating paninis while you're out camping. Mayonnaise sandwiches. You're eating Italian. Nope, nope. Well, that's what it looked like. <laughs> they lowered her <laughs> onto the flame. Oh, they panini her. Yeah, they panini her. Yeah. And she catches on fire <laughs> and then she walks out and everybody's like, "Holy fuck!" Yeah, that shit was fucked. Basket grill. God dang, no. I don't know. I'll have to find one. I bet Camp Chef makes one. Oh, yep, man. Yep. I'm just thinking of, now I'm thinking about, because I used to have one of these, like, it wasn't a George Foreman grill. It was, like, literally made to seal your sandwiches, but it was like a George Foreman grill, and it turned them into little triangles. But you could put just a little bit of spaghetti sauce, pregu, in there, and then a little bit of government cheese, and you put the white bread in there, and you close it. You wait like 45 seconds. Did you fucking say Prego? Yeah. Pre Prego? 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 Pre no, wait. There's two different ones. There's Prego and there's Rag... No, there's Ragu and Prego. Ragu wait. is the guy from uh, Laverne and Shirley, right? Ragu's? Yeah, but it's also a sauce. Oh, the big Ragu? Yeah. <laughs> you remember him? Yeah. So I think it was Ragu just died. and Prego. Like he literally Prego? died like two weeks ago. What the fuck is it? Prego. Jamie says Prego. So there's Prego and... What in the hell are those... It's people laughing. I think. Well, anyways, I had a thing like Prego. that. Prego. It's Prego. Like your Prego? Yeah. Preggers. Preggers. Yeah. So that bitch got Preggers. And then the uh, the the wolf. <laughs> the, the, the wolf. Eatress was born. Well, the, the, the grandma, the one that turned her into a wolf. I'm calling her the grandma. She comes and kills the little kid. Because she's like, you don't deserve happiness because I couldn't have happiness. But then the little, the mom is like, oh yeah, gets her baby, chops up a donkey with an axe. They kill three donkeys in that movie. I don't know if you noticed that. Dude, donkeys were everywhere back then. Why did they kill so many donkeys? Because they were everywhere back then. So that she kills the donkeys and spits the blood all over the baby. Yeah, that was, that was cool. And then little baby's chest starts glowing. That's crazy. That's how we used to feed Lyric. 
And then the grand, and then the, and then the grandma said, "Why did you figure out how to be happy?" And but she's in like, "Iceland, Icelandic." Yeah, I don't know where that shit takes place. I didn't care to look it up. It's like eighteen hundred Mongolia or something. I said maybe she would been happy and had a baby if she wasn't such a bitch. Yeesh. That's what lyrics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she was mean. Who's going to... Those are the exact words Lyric said to yeah. me. Yeah, so... And then and then, Mama, Mama Wolfie Tris was like, you just tr try to kill my baby. And she just, like, shreds her. But she said it like Shrek would say it. Yeah. Baby. You tried to kill my baby. My baby. Wait, does... does um? Does... I thought it was so cool when they showed the little baby's hands with those fucking ghetto-ass... Fucking Dude, St. Mary that, strip nails. That was one of the best things. It shows the little baby with the tiny little yeah, wolf, wolf and I was nails, like, man. Wolf nails. So did the uh, did did um, Mike Myers play Shrek? Who played Shrek? Mike Myers. Oh, he did. Because whenever you did that, all I could think about was the fat Scottish guy from he, Austin. Powers. That's where he got the voice for Shrek was from him. Okay. Or he got fat bastard from Shrek. I don't know which one came out first. When I used to weigh like fucking 350 pounds, I was standing outside one of the shops. Pepper down. I was standing outside one of the shops smoking a cigarette when I used to smoke. And a car drove by and blew the horn and he yelled out the window, Hey, fuck you, Shrek! It kind of hurt my feelings. Yeah, dude. Were you like... Made me want to... Made me want to... <laughs> Why would they, they say that? Made me want to lose weight. <laughs> what? What? They just called you Shrek because you were fat. Yeah, and I looked like Shrek. <laughs> were you green? No. Did you have weird ears? No, I was just. Were you wearing a leather jacket? I bet you were wearing a leather jacket, weren't you? Like a tan leather jacket. This was the early nineties. Yeah. Oh, I was wearing leather pants. Leather pants. Yes. Man, yeah, so I married an axe murderer. That's a good movie. I was just brought up in the comments. I don't think I've seen that. What? Have you really not? That's a great Mike Myers it movie. It sounds ridiculous. It's a horror movie. No, it's not. Yeah, it's a horror movie with Mike Myers. Okay, then it's a comedy. No. I mean, a... I should watch it. I, I fucking like The Love Guru, and that was a voted That's the worst. That's a comedy. That was voted the worst movie ever made in the history of movies. And I saw that at the theater, and I could not stop laughing. I don't know what that emoji is. It's someone laughing. I don't. I can't like if see you it. type in like LOL, like you can you choose that maybe. I don't know how it works. I can't not see what it is. Side. It looks like a. It's a guy going like this. It looks like a taco. Look. Oh, uh, oh, that's his hand. Yeah. Oh, you thought he was eating a taco? I don't know what I, I... No, it looked like a taco. Like the whole thing looked like a taco. Yeah, it looked like the... <laughs> I think you need some glasses. I should wear my glasses while I'm... I here. mean, there's like an eye and a mouth and a little goatee. He's laughing. LOL, balding white guy with gold teeth. With goatee. Not gold <laughs> who teeth. Needs, who needs fucking glasses now? <laughs> not... Not... Not goatee, gold teeth. A balding white guy with gold teeth. I actually text. I hate Doug Carlos, and he didn't text me back. So, Let's see, we text me. Back. This thing only did a hundred twenty-five thousand dollars at the box office in the U.S. and like a little Holy over. Holy shit! This thing's strong. Yeah, it's a tiki drink. Are They're they like supposed to be 99 strong? Ninety-nine percent alcohol with some fruit juice. It's supposed to be shaken with ice so it melts and gets watery, a little watery. Aster. That's why you shake. See, the lyric said, that is why you shake. You gotta get the, the water. It has a technical term, but I can't remember right now. Um, you get, but, do I yeah, get fries with that shake? It though? did like... It it did like less than three hundred thousand dollars like 
box office worldwide. That was and like I have the, no the, idea how much the they director spent on and the this writer movie. Goran Stolvesky. It was his first movie, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was done very well. It was. It was. It's it's visually stunning. It definitely is visually stunning. Both movies tonight are visually stunning. They're both like set in the woods. They both have witches. They both have someone who scratches their mouth to spit blood. Yeah, it's blood crazy. And stuff. That's crazy how they there, get the blood from them. They cut the top of their. There's mouth. also. They're both about a girl who's not allowed to ever. Who's never met another person. That's crazy. And we didn't even know that going into it. Maybe that's a witch thing. You're not yes. allowed to meet other people. Unless you're like meeting up to sun your yoni. Not the witches from here. Those motherfuckers are out every weekend on the strip. <laughs> With their witch nails. <laughs> With their witch nails and their... Do witches... Did they have the big eyelashes like that? Yeah. They actually do a spell to make their eyelashes grow. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. I know. What, yeah. about, what else about this movie? What do you think? Overall, I liked it a lot. Like, it's... I could have used less of the crazy talk voiceover. Yeah. Is I that mean, what that's called? Voiceover? Yeah, that, it was like... I mean, it just... That's pretty much what the whole thing... It was like one giant poem. Actually, yeah. Uh, I think if you actually... I hate Carl, Doug Carlos said, both of you are visually stunning. I'm curious what you guys are drinking. Is that compost? Witches have rocks. <laughs> that blanket thing hang on the wall. I don't even tapestries. know. Tapestries. Tapestry? Tapestries. Wait, witches, witches have tapestries? Witches and, love tapestries. And they're, and, called, and they're called crystals. No, crystals he's right. Different. I fucking call them rocks. Crystals are different than rocks. Crystals Dude, I'm recharge right now, in the moonlight. I've been given crystals and stuff. And I just, I don't know what to do with them. I, most of them are on my dresser. Put them in your yoni. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I just see this stuff online. There's something about sunning a yoni all the time. That's what I see all the time. Recharging your crystals in the moonlight. I don't know. Do you guys think she changes shape when she's already... How do you think she changes shape when she's already like a warthog? No, them. Oh, your yoni is your butthole. Is that what that is, Lyric? Oh my god. I do not like witches anymore. So, man, I got to reevaluate all these text messages. Yeah, that's that's one thing. Like whenever, <laughs> whenever, <laughs> like. Whenever you're like a wolf, so whenever they want to change into someone else, they have to pull all the guts out, right? So if they're a wolf, how do they pull those guts out? They don't have any I hands. Mean, they don't have opposable thumbs. They're animals. They probably, grab, they how do you probably grab? eat it out. How? How? It doesn't work. I don't know. It's, it's a like right witch. Here. It's a witch. Maybe she changes into a hand. And... <laughs> like, the, like the hand appears on a wolf. That could be. Oh, I wish somebody else would comment so that lyrics comment would go away. Up your butt hole. Disturbing. Oof. You're not a wolf, Doug. I know I'm not a wolf. Oh, they mentioned wolves in the other movie too. What the fuck? This is yeah. crazy. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. I, and I had no idea. I, I didn't know. know. I didn't know what this one was about. I kind of knew what the next one was about. I mean, I saw the trailer for this one, but still, it made no goddamn sense. No, it, the trailer would have not led you to know anything about this movie. I feel like kind of like Parasite. That's it, one of the best trailers ever released. I don't remember the trailer. It tells Parasite. you absolutely nothing about that movie. That is a weird movie. And it's the all director, over the place. director said. When you release a trailer, you can't say anything. Who was the director? Who was I that? I forgot his name. He did the host and yeah, the mother. host with the with the not the giant. host with the Niles from Frasier. The host with the big uh, 
river octopus monster. thing. Yeah, river monster. It's like yeah. a trout frog with yeah. legs. Oh, yeah, it hops. Yeah, I have that on. on no, it's like a giant there. salamander trout. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, it was a it was a good movie. I was I was kind of a little bit. Um, Bong Joon Ho. Yep. Amazing director. He was the yep. first foreign director to win a, an American Best Picture. I did not know that. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, anything else about this one? No, other than you should watch it. It's great. I liked it. Somebody that I know, I'm not going to name his name, but he thought it was too artsy. I'm just going to read you what I said. You know, I already said what you said. I don't, I don't think you did. Yeah, I did. I'm going to look and see. You said, this movie sucks. It's too artsy. No. Yeah. Look it up. I, I said, wow, I hate this movie. Oh, okay. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this was at 12... 58 a.m. And I looked in and I was like, God dang it, I gotta wow, watch it still. I hate this movie. It's too artsy, right? Is that what you said? Yeah. And I said, No, I didn't say that. I said, Larry said, Pixar didn't happen. Then I said, The movie wasn't bad, just artsy. Oh, I didn't see that one. Like Lamb. Oh, I did see that. Oh, I like this movie then way better I said, than Lamb. Are you bringing your tiki mug tonight? And you did. That was it. So I guess we stopped talking about that. You never answer my text anyway, so. Chencho said, dude, I felt that way about the movie Mandy. Dude. <sighs> like it was too love, artsy? That was like I the great Mandy. movie. Oh, uh, I think, Jamie, I... I was upset about um, this movie because I thought it was going to be more of a straight horror movie, and it turned out to be like all about. It wasn't really about horror. It wasn't really much horror. It was more. What did you say about horror? About horrors. It was more about how, like, someone growing up, like after they're already an adult. Like she was already 16 years old and she had to grow up from that point because she knew nothing. Um, yeah, I agree. Mandy was amazing. I saw it like six times. Ten. I don't what even you know. Say we what? We stand. You know, like that rap song by the white guy from Detroit? Stan? It's like a super fan, a stan. I think it was a pacing of the movie for me. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, I could see that. I could see that, but it was still, it was really crazy. There was just some crazy parts, and it was like, what did you describe it as? It a me, uh, Ario yeah. Speedwagon cover? Uh, no. Uh, like an Asia. <laughs> Asia cover. An Asian album cover. <laughs> it's like if you turn an Asia album cover into a movie. Yeah, I mean, like whenever he like dips his finger in the like gray slime, he's like, and he's like, ah! like dude, there's just so many cool spots. Like whenever that crazy porn's on TV and he's like sitting there and he sees the guy coming, up, oh my god, so many good parts. I bought it that good. The Gimp scene where he's, yeah, that's what I was just talking about. That's the greatest part. I mean, it's not the greatest part, but it's pretty good. The gimp scene where he's jerking off to porn and he fight and what? The fight scene. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's all it's good. good. It's all good. It's all good. This some cool stuff. This movie there. would be equivalent to an Opeth. Well, <laughs> Opeth well, album cover. So so what's weird is like what would like we went and saw we went and saw Lamb in the theater and we talked about that. On this show, talk about that was, man, and and it was like so. That's that two, was a fucking slow burn. That's two Numi Rapace movies in a row that are like called horror movies. <laughs> Lyric, remember when I hosted Mandy in my underwear? I oh, do. Yeah, you went to that, right? Yeah. I was kind of sick, I guess. Yeah, the um, th that. 
it's weird how she did two horror movies in a row that to me are just like kind of like psychological thrillers with a little bit of horror mixed in i'm sorry i thought I, this one was horror what did you think was horror about it it's about fucking witches and shapeshifters so is witches uh, you know where they turn the little dude into a mouse and he's running around the hotel. that's con- the original's considered horror i know same thing what i'm saying but so is cinderella Cinderella is a witch that turns somebody into body horror. Body horror. Mm, like Cinderella. Scammers. Which one? The new one? The new Cinderella? Just I didn't really see that. Don't watch it. I'm not. It's Ever. live action. I don't watch any live action Disney. No, it's don't garbage. You body horror is great. The squishes made me feel icky. On on what? On what? Obi Wan. Obi Wan's a first time chatter. Hey, what's up, Juan? I, I'm gonna say I'm just gonna call you. Which is fucking me up as a kid, dude. Yeah, it's pretty, it's crazy. It's pretty messed Angela, up. Angela, what's her name? Lansbury. Yeah. No. That's Houston, right. Angelica Houston. Houston. Dude, that chick looked fucked up. But have you seen the new one? I they love the new one. Years. Oh my god, it's so good. The new one is Juan, so have you good. Seen, have you seen the new one, Juan? It's really, really good. It's more like the it's straight off of the book, right? Like yeah, a short story, yeah. whatever it is. Y'all dig the remake of Suspiria, though. That that was hard. Well, I think I couldn't get through it, dude. I, I saw the first time. I haven't and I seen the new. I haven't seen the new Suspiria. Juan, you need to watch the new one. It's great. But um, the original Suspiria is also pretty artsy. But it's like I think a lot. Did you of, watch it? Finish it. The the original one or the, the new, new one? one? I haven't seen it. I started watching it. There's some really it. cool gore scenes that it's kind of jacked up, but I just well, I think I think like all the like the the early Italian stuff like that. <laughs> I know with Catwoman, yes. <laughs> I I think all the I think all the early like the early Italian stuff, um, like the the Fulci like before before zombie stuff and the Argento stuff before zombie type stuff. I think all that stuff is like. It is all kind of artsy, you know. What is that? What's that called? Uh, you know what? You're uh, right. What's that kind of horror um, called? Jamie, what's that? If you can, um, uh, yeah, yeah, giallo, giallo, giallo. Yeah, the, yeah where it's you're like absolutely the, right. That was. It's all kind of that like was that. artsy. It's all kind of artsy, but, but it's also murder. I guess because I'm such a big fan, I was like, I don't want to watch this crap. Um. Yeah, I saw that at the theater. Avant garde. I'm gonna use this wet wipe. Is that what? Is that what the hell you say there? Avant garde. Avant garde. Yeah. Giallo. That's uh. Giallo. I just heard avant garde in uh, what's her name, Christian Dernst's voice in uh, interview with a vampire. Gelato. Gelato. <laughs> we should start a place called Giallo Gelato, a horror themed gelato shop. <sighs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Everything would be covered. Since we're in San Antonio, everything would be covered in, uh, what's that stuff that they put on manganadas? Chamoy. Yeah, everything would be covered in chamoy, but we call it blood sauce or something. Gillette razors. Gillette razors have an interesting story. Crack. There were no razors before. (laughs) Crack. (laughs) One said crack. What what straw is that? It looks like you bent a bit pen, metal insert. It's a brass straw. If you fall on it, you kill yourself. See, not this one. Where'd you get that one? It's got like a little rubberized tip on it. I'm sure that holds a lot of bacteria. So you don't go. Yeah, mine. I've already broke a tooth. Look, right here. Oh, that was with this. Are you serious? Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna drink. I'm so environmental. <laughs> broken tooth. I think Lyric got these. Where'd you get them from, Lyric? We got a lot of dinging going on. We're out, of, we're out of Ikea. Oh, yeah. I can totally see these from Ikea. What was the name of them? <laughs> what are the weird names they have? Stralasia. Stralasia. Something like that. Uh, the Numi. The Numi. The Numi straw. They do have names straw. like that. Numi. The Numi lineup. I'm sorry, sir. We're out of, uh... Yeah, so, you know, like, 
the girl had no speaking parts in the whole thing. But was like that her voice? Talk. Yeah. Was she the narrator? Well, I mean, it, it, the narration was her, but I don't know if it was actually the actress who did the voice. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, shit. Sh she wore. <coughs> I don't know if I would that. Shigor Rose. Shigor Rose. Straws by Shigor. Yeah. Isn't that the lead singer's name or the bass player from uh, Amanomark? Probably, but capitalized. I don't know. You got anything else to say about this one? No, I think I'm done with this one. Yeah. Watch it. It's good. Yeah, I, I liked it better thinking about it after I was done watching it. Like, I literally, after I was done watching it, I'm like, how am I even going to talk about this What's movie? That? What's that square on there? The what? There's a blue square. There's a blue square? Oh, uh, that's we can only see that. I don't know why it's there, but... Oh. We're gonna, oh. No way else can see that, just us. Okay. It's well, a little weird. It's well, freaking, it's freaking out. out. Our screen's freaking Why's out. Why is it fucking freaking Our out? Our monitor's freaking out. Oh, shit. Well, let's not worry about that. I'm not. Are you? Nope. I'm not either, then. I'm not either then yeah me neither uh so what was the next movie we watched the next movie we oh watched. it says right there oh hellbender <laughs> i completely forgot but look at that with sixes for the e's yeah this was a very interesting movie to me i liked it a lot for being i liked it too i liked it a lot the story the acting was whatever, like not not great, but definitely not bad. It's not like it was Attack weird. Of the, the, acting, the acting was it like every person that started acting. It was like as they're acting, they're kind of stiff, but then towards the end of every scene, they kind of mellow out. And it winds <laughs> like, up being all right. It's like when they're right? like, it's like when they're like action. They're like, uh, uh, and then and then by the end, they're like, oh man, yeah. It's it's pretty. It was yeah, pretty. I can see that. The the they definitely could have used some like paid for a couple LUTs for the uh, for the color grading because unlike uh, unlike the other movie, the color grading was pretty bad. It was very like bright and and flat. You know what I'm saying? Like it looks very like. It didn't it the sound wasn't. was a little off too but i mean if you can like a movie even after that stuff you know it's good i mean i thought the it, story, the story was, great. was great i thought the story was great and and what uh really is cool that i didn't even know whenever we whenever you first suggested this movie was i didn't know that it was a family that made it yeah father daughter yeah the three main characters are Already. two sisters and a mom like in real life and they filmed it at their house they they filmed it oh yeah look the does the title look right now yes oh yeah yeah the title is that was some quick man jamie we have an intern jamie from uh from utsa roadrunners go roadrunners That's she's currently she working on faces of death eight is she really yeah don't well, say anything She's in the other room. She's our uh, she's our producer slash intern, getting paid no, getting paid in credits, and she gets some of her alcohol, which I think to a college student that's probably worth more than getting money. How does she get home? Oh, she Ubers, huh? She's yeah. like a young, like yeah, probably use her. Money. <laughs> <laughs> so Jamie, our intern, the intern. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. She just fixed that because she's good. She does good computer stuff on the fly. Man, uh, I really, I usually don't care for newer movie posters, but this movie poster is so rad. I, okay, so the movie I really, poster. I, I really want, I don't know how I'm going to get it, but I want one. The movie poster um, was really cool. It's the, it's the daughter in the movie with the, with like the crown on that she finds yeah the mom finds and, at the thrift store. and it's also like their like whatever their witch symbol that they use throughout the movie um 
What's interesting about this is this family in real life, the Adams, they're from Catskill, um, New York, and they have a band called Hellbender. Which is also in the movie. Which does the entire soundtrack for the movie. And they film this entire movie themselves. They all took turns being the camera people. Um, they all took turns being director. They all took turns with all that stuff. But they... Um, what is up with this guy? This guy hates us. I know. Like he thinks he he thinks he's gonna come on the show. We don't even know who this dude is. Yeah. I mean, someone who hates us. What is the liquid compost? Rum, whiskey. This one is rum, grapefruit, and lime, and some other stuff. You can look it up. It's called a something something. Or let me whip up a concoction with deep lime and epspilone when I come on for my gender reveal show. We can do that. So yeah, can the, do that. the the movie poster is actually from one of their music videos. I looked up some of their music videos and like they're and like in one of the music videos that's like the thing she's wearing in the music video. So that's like kind of like one of the Oh pictures. you just looked up music videos? Yeah. Man, I wanna I wanna check yeah. them out. I mean it didn't I didn't really You should like, listen to these guys on they're on Spotify. They're on Spotify. They get like two thousand listens a month. What what are I mean? What would you call their music? Like witchy goth? Yeah, it's like kind of like it's like the music you listen indie. to when you go out to the woods to bang a tree. I think so, right? I mean, I mean, people still bang trees, right? Tree huggers. Yeah, it's hard now because the other the the fake tree huggers are like out there spiking the trees with stuff so they can't cut them down, but that really like. Kills Inter the trees anyway? Well, it interferes with banging the trees. Because yeah. there's like spikes sticking out of them. It's kind of... Yeah, it's messed up. I'm glad we have this channel set at for not for Oh, children. the term is called witch house. That's pretty mm -hmm. good. No, that sounds about right. No, it's not like witch house. Oh, is, I don't know what witch house is. I just um, thought it sounded... Well, I have a witch house playlist on my... No, you do not. Yeah, yeah, Witch House. Is that would be called the band Witch? Um, no, Witch House is like a bunch of pretentious like dudes and chicks from L.A. that play in Silver Lake a lot. And they, they think like, they're witches or are they real witches? No, they just more like they more like want to seem like they're dark and whatever, but they're really just rich kids from Silver Lake, or they're poor kids that work at record stores that live with the rich kids. Um, yeah, which house is weird. There's like one, I mean, I think for a while, uh, um, it's like those sound effects you play in Haunted House mixed with trap beats. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. They hang out at that place in San Francisco that they shoot porn and hardcore. You're talking about the Armory. The Armory SF. That's what I hate Carlos. It's like the, Juan said it's like those sound effects you play in a haunted house mixed with track beats. Yeah. I hate Carlos is talking about the Armory, Armory SF. It's a pretty messed up place. Is that where they caught me and you in that photo? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> See, yeah. I hate Doug Carlo said that's the one. I know I've been there a lot. I've been there a lot. A lot. Unfortunately. I was there for a New Year's Eve night. That was odd. <laughs> I bet. Oh man, that's rough. Um so yeah, this is all shot in upstate New York by this family. Chef's kiss. The hell's that? I don't know. I don't know. Is that like the angry chef? <laughs> One said the witch house is like an Afton show in the small room during Halloween. <laughs> yes. Juan, what was that show in the small room? It was just like noise and they would fill the whole room up with a sm smoke machine. And you would walk in there and people started freaking the fuck out. And I had to get out too. 
Because it was a strobe light and all this noise. It was just like noise core stuff. Street sect. Uh, I don't know. Dude, that shit freaked me out. I had to get out. <laughs> Both of them said, yeah, that shit, that shit freaked me out. Yeah, so this 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 movie pretty it was like much a show in, a, in a thundercloud. This this one pretty much is a mom and a daughter living in the middle of nowhere. And you find out real quick that the daughter is not allowed to go anywhere. anywhere. Like she can't go into town. But they have like all these acres of fucking woods and fucking rivers and waterfalls which they probably really own yeah in real so they life. didn't even have to give get any permits probably to film there right because it's private property yeah probably Damn. so they, that was one of the coolest thing was like it was super beautiful like the whole the whole shots um you could tell they did it themselves in a lot of ways because they're like oh what do we have that we can use and they're like Oh, hey, we have a DJI Ronin, like they're doing drone shots nonstop. Like that was one of the things I think Lyric was like, saying we should make a drinking Lyric game. Was like, Let's make a drinking game. Every drone, drone shot, take a shot. Yeah. And, and it was a little bit, uh, the acting was a little bit rough in it, but it was good. <laughs> Lyric. I remember a show like that where I accidentally got stuck in the middle of the band. <laughs> And you were like, this is my life now. <laughs> I'm stuck yeah. in the middle of the band. So, uh, basically, this girl finds a friend on the mountain where she lives. Which is played by her real-life sister. Yeah, her real-life sister. And and they, she goes to a kind of little local party type thing. And they tell her, they tell her, like... We're going to do tequila shots. Never done tequila. Never done tequila, but for some reason, the guy's like, I'm going to drop an earthworm into the tequila. Who's the lucky one that gets to eat the worm? Not the tequila worm. And it was was the the wit, the little girl, or the main character. And she eats the worm and freaks out. Dude, that that scream was pretty Dude, gnarly, though. She like screams, and the camera's right on her, and it's so creepy. And they're just like, "Whoa, you're freaking out!" <laughs> like they're, they're all looking at each other, like, "What the fuck is wrong with this girl?" Yeah. And then she just kind of like stiffens up, and she's like, "Whoa." Yeah. And then the guy that actually owns the pool, you find out she cha- he chases him away. She goes home, and she's like. I went to I went to hang out with my friends and the mom's like, Who the fuck? You don't have any friends. I haven't let you ever meet anybody. And she's she's like, I ate a worm and the mom just instantly changes and says, Did you hurt anyone? And she says no. Um, which we later find out is a lie. Because she did hurt someone. But basically the witches, which are hellbenders, um, get their power by eating scared Creatures. animals much yeah yeah so she's like you just ate an earthworm imagine if you ate a mouse a rat or a cat or a or imagine if you eat a deer a human you know she says what happens if i eat a human and she says then you'll know real power yeah so then you start wondering what is this girl yeah what is this girl yeah. Gusano. A worm. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, the trimmers were, were graboids. They weren't worms. They were graboids. graboids. Ooh, I should do a graboid drawing. That'd be cool. Coming out of this shirt like a chest burster. That'd be good. Anyway. Yeah, graboids. I, I hate Doug Carlos. Graboids. Graboids. So, um... What's a gusano? A what? A sp- what is it? A spider? What is a gusano? I forgot. I don't fucking know. I'm white as shit. You should know. Just because I live in San Antonio. Gusano. Or is it a mosquito? Oh, it's a worm. 
Oh. Do you want any more of this? Why does it... There's only a little left. Nah, go ahead. You can, you can kill it. No, are you sure? I mean, there's hardly... What am I going to do with that? Drink it. Man, y'all have the most fanciest pictures. Dude, these are white people pictures. I know. You know what? I would bring shit down from upstairs in a goddamn Bill Miller's goddamn gallon. No, no, no. Drink it all. I can't see what that is. What is that? Is that a turd? Is that a turd? It's a fried chicken, I think. I don't know what it is. I can't chicken. see it. Is it a turkey? <laughs> I forgot about the asthma masters. What's it bad again? Just spill ice over here. Huh. I'm trying to make it look 3D. Can't. Oh, oh shit. That wasn't good. <sighs> I have to go fix that. Hey, what the? Oh, a bat. The emoji, the emoji is a bat. <laughs> that is a, I thought that was a Spanish word. I was like, that's not right. <laughs> emote. Emote? That's what they're called. <laughs> emojis. Emojis on Twitch are called emotes. 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 <laughs> we got some new emotes. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Being the way this film was shot, I usually. Wouldn't even give two shits about it. Oh, oh shit! Doug's walking upset. Move this ice. I didn't want it. It was in a really bad spot. It was going to get on our equipment. I shouldn't be. What are you eating over there? What is that? He started talking about eating worms. I got hungry. But what are you eating? Rice Krispie treats. Can I have a Rice Krispie treat? Did your mom make these? What'd you say your mom's name was? Susia Lucia? Susia Lucia. Yeah, that's fucked up. What? <laughs> <laughs> that chick partied back in her days. <laughs> uh, and by days, I mean 2021. <laughs> I still want to call her that and see what she says, but I'm, I'm afraid you're lying. <laughs> And I'll call your mom Susie Lucia, and she's gonna like flip out. She'll hit you with her chunkla. <laughs> She'll start spanking me with her chunkla. My mom has those <laughs> fuzzy slippers. Yeah. Blue, <laughs> kind of light fuzz on top. Yeah. So yeah, what'd you think about the movie? Explain. Go, Man. go on. I thought the movie, the color grading was terrible on it. I thought what they, I, I kind of thought that intentionally they were making it all bright and, and stuff at the beginning. And then once she found out she was a witch and like started going down that dark side, they were going to change the color grading. And for a second, I was really like, oh yeah, that's what is what they're going to do because they went into that kind of dream, that dream world for a second and it was all... It was all like had that kind of like a bluish hue and, and like more cinematic look. But they only did that for like 15 seconds of the entire movie. So I thought I thought it was weird because they obviously knew they could change the color grading to get different feelings, but they left it all bright the whole time. And it was and it, it felt a little uh, it felt a little weird. It felt a little weird because like. It's especially now, like they obviously had the money for for some good equipment and sound. Like the sound was great, and you know the music was good and everything. So it only made sixty seven thousand dollars. Oh yeah, it did both these movies. Both these movies, these people probably lost a shit ton of money. On and both the mom, movies. she came up with the idea because she found out she was donor conceived, and she imagined what if it, what if the father was the devil. So she wrote this. That's a cool. terrible thing to think of. No, it's awesome. It's awesome. So I did 
they, they basically had this band that the, this family had this band. And when they, they first showed up, I was kind of like laughing. Yeah, because it was like a music video. Because the mom has like crazy like makeup and stuff. Fucking Manson on the Antichrist Superstar, Antichrist oh, Superstar yeah. tour with the fucking band across her eye and dripping black paint. Yeah. Yeah, I did think that I did think that them playing the music was kind of cool. Like the fact that this, they actually have a real band, like the the sisters and the mom and dad actually have a band that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, they really. It was like they were playing a show every time they were doing their. Well, that's why practice. you figure out that's why they're doing it because they don't play they don't shows. socialize with anyone. Yeah, so they just yeah. dress up and play. Um. Yeah, Izzy, the daughter, we, we already said, right? She was one of the directors, actually. Yeah, I think I think every single one of them directed this movie. No, yeah, it was I just think all four. It of was them, the right? mom, Izzy, and the uncle that comes out for, what, like five minutes, maybe? Who is actually the dad? Yeah. But plays the uncle in the movie. Kind of like the Jacksons. Yeah. But they filmed this during COVID because of the lockdowns. They're like, well, we can't do anything. Everything's shut down. We're in like small upstate New York. We can't go out. We might as well make a movie, which is kind of cool. I didn't do shit during lockdown. I didn't either. Holy fuck. I could have made a whole movie. Instead of just like went to work. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything productive. Did you even draw anything or just like sit at home? I was sick for like over a month, so that took care of one of the months. <laughs> wait, how many times did you have COVID? Twice. Can't wait for that third time. What was the, what was the, the first time was more than a month, wasn't it? Hell yeah, I was fucking sick. When you stopped returning my text, I was like, well, fuck, I gotta have to find another co-host. Yeah, I was sick. No, oh, wasn't too bad. Thank Man. goodness! Thank goodness I got that. Susie and Lucy make some good, good stuff. Mm. Larry G said, "I just played Blitzkrieg Bop over and over again. Why? Why would she do that? I don't know. Um, so the the mom at one point she, whenever the daughter finds out she's a witch, the mom says." I, this is why I've kept you here because you're dangerous and she's like dangerous to who and they never really say anything but I think in the end it's really because she's dangerous to the mom and she knew as soon as she became the witch she would end up like killing her one day which is really weird like they don't really say it but they allude to the only way for the the daughter to have a kid because they do say that we're that we um that they produce asexually and so they so sh they allude that the only way for her to have a kid is to eat the mom did you hear that did you notice that yeah which i thought was like kind of weird but also cool yeah so there's a scene where we could have made a movie lyric the daughter's out drawing and this hiker comes up he yeah. kind of frightens her and she's which like, is her dad on, that's her dad that's her dad in real life you're on private property and the mom shows up and is like go just tells the daughter to go and then that kind of that was the only scene that I was kind of like eh where she does that and raises the guy off his feet. I thought that was cool. You didn't like it? It's too hokey. That's what witches do. They lift you up and chop <laughs> your... Alex said, I thought this channel talked about monster trucks. Dude, I used to love going to monster truck rallies. I've never been to one. Am I missing out? Well, I didn't go to the big ones like at Texas State Fair or anything like that. Any of those ones because those they were too expensive. At Texas State Fair? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, at the Cotton Bowl. 
they would have like big, you know, probably like they had it, whatever was around back then here, AT&T Park or whatever those things are here. Um, what's the one downtown? It's all ugly. The people, not AT&T Park, but something center where the Spurs play. The Oscar De La Hoya Center? Oscar De La Hoya Center. So, I didn't go to those. I went to the ones where I like the county fair. So it was like my neighbor, like we just have a big truck. <laughs> and he would, the dog go to the monster truck around the kids. So my neighbor would just have like a jacked up Ford Bronco and he'd run over like some Pintos and shit. But <laughs> I never see, but that's what I want to see. Grave, grave digger. Or like uh, the original Bigfoot, the original <laughs> Bigfoot, it would hit those cars and like fly. Yeah, yeah. Walmart parking lot. Yeah, that was pretty much. Really said that up. was just a Walmart parking lot. Yeah. So I really. I saw Def Leppard like in the Walmart parking lot. Did you really? They released their new album, Walmart exclusive. And they played in a Walmart parking lot. Mm hmm. On the back of an eighteen. Southside wheeler. or. The one up there in Nolan. Loves them. No. That's crazy. 410 and... Dude, this was a long time ago. Look it up if you don't believe me. <laughs> Def so, Leppard played on the back of a flatbed 18-wheeler. They played two songs. That was and it? And I went inside. Yeah. Dude, people were parking on the freeway and getting off their cars and going to walking underneath the bridges to go. To see them play like two songs. The parking lot. <laughs> That's kind of fucking sick. No. And that was gone a long time ago. Yeah. He. So afterwards, I went inside. They had no security inside. So they let him in through the side door. And when they walk in, dude, they were not fucking happy. You could tell they were like, what in the fuck are we doing playing in a Walmart parking lot? Some little old lady that was running where the towels are and stuff wasn't there. So the singer's like, where's my fucking bloody towels? Like he's yelling. And I'm standing there like, oh fuck, he's pissed. Then the little old lady shows up and says, and she just grabs him. God damn it, I demanded them to be ready for me when I got off stage. I'm like, bitch, it's a truck. It's not a stage, it's a truck. Yes, Days of Allah Walmart, yes. See? It was it was terrible. I felt so bad Were for they that like lady. Were they like touring the whole country playing Walmart? I have no idea. Probably, because it was a Walmart exclusive CD. You could only buy it through Walmart. Dude, they're bitching, but they probably made so much oh, yeah. money. They're probably getting fly, flown first class from place to place. Playing two songs, probably getting paid more than they do for a regular concert. Yeah, so I was there. I was inside. In the... Is that when you ran the garden center? Yeah. That's I used cool. to work at the Walmart garden center. I ran it. That's Thank awesome. you. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, was man. Terrible. That, that's terrible. Uh... I still like working there more than Paper Tiger. That's nuts. <laughs> so... The the movie has a really it has like a ninety seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh really? I didn't. I didn't yeah, it's really high. It's got really really good. <laughs> I hate Doug Carlos and rolling like the prices at the app. I'll be, huh? I'll be, I can't say that word right now. So, I want to tell you a story since you just told me that story. Okay, okay, let's hear it. The the someone getting sued her man. So Cindy Lauper played a club where I used to work. Please tell me she was mean. Don't she was mean as fuck. Oh man. So she, I mean, she's like a huge star, you know, and like and, and abuelas. She I couldn't say like, that word, dude. Fuck. That's your grandma. I know she's dead. Oh, it's a long time ago. Okay, so the the uh, she she plays, and instead of like having the backstage you know i mean she's been on broadway she's like had number one albums she like her uncle is like captain lou albano or something or at least in her videos and so she plays this club where i work 
And she demanded, like, this isn't a big enough dressing room. So we, like, gave her a whole, like, floor to herself in this club. But at one point, she flipped out. Because, and this is before you could just go to HEB and buy coconut water. And she walks upstairs, and she's just screaming, Where's my goddamn coconut water? <laughs> it sounded just like her. <laughs> and, like... Everybody's like flipping out like, fuck, where do we find coconut water? Because her like coconut water wasn't like it was now. You couldn't just go in and buy that pink shit and say, here's your coconut water. It was hard to get back then. I hate Doug Carlos said she's still pissed because like Richie told her to shut the fuck up with the We Are The World song. I don't know about that. We Are The World? I don't know. She was in that one. Yeah, but did he really tell her to shut the fuck up? I don't know. I don't know that story at all. But um, we did just. She pulled a Courtney Love. She Were you there her one? Were you there when Courtney Love played at Paper? And I was the only bouncer for fifteen hundred people. Wait, Juan, she killed her husband. I'm not sure. I think she's saying he killed her husband. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. So Juan, Juan said yes, she did kill her husband. <laughs> okay. So, so now we have Courtney Love. And Cindy Lauper killed her husband. El Duce did. You know El he's from. Duce. Come yeah. on. Um, That's why we got the airstream in the back. So the um, this movie, we find out later that the fucking daughter is a psychopath. No, she's she's kiss. She's what? Kiss. Kiss the band? Yeah. The daughter is? Why? Knights in Satan's service. Oh, she definitely is that. So th the mom tells a whole story like, I didn't want you to go out because, you know, it's real easy to become powerful. But She like, can already feel the her power is getting greater and seeing the future from this... Devil book. Fucking devil book, which looks like this thin from the top, but then when they finally show it, it's like this thick. <laughs> it made no goddamn sense. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, that was weird. And every time she puts her hand on it, it's like a fucking acid trip. Yeah, they can see everything that happened through their family line. Well, the daughter gets a hold of it finally. Yeah. And it's crazy. They spent all their fucking... How much did it cost Bloody. to make this movie? Uh, I don't know. I couldn't find that. I actually looked to try to see what the budget was, and that's like they kept that close to the chest because I couldn't find it. I hate Doug Carlos. Gene apparently never did drugs or drink, just full blown AIDS from the smorgasbord of pussy. Gene, Wait, the old bouncer. Gene Simmons. Oh, I thought he meant Gene the old bouncer. No. From... Does Gene Simmons have AIDS? Oh, does he? I don't know. Dude, that guy seems like such a dick. Oh, like, yeah. anytime I like, shows him, like, oh, talking yeah. he's to a people. Fucking, he's a dick. What's guy. that Kevin Smith movie? Or that Kevin Smith TV show where it's about his comic book store? What's it called? Comic Book Men? Yeah, so whatever it's called. I don't think that is it, but... Whenever they go to <laughs> Magic Johnson kind, whenever they go to a Kiss concert in that show, which obviously is set up, and they're like, he's still you know, a dick. Says, he's a dick even when he's trying to act. That guy's a dick. Can you leave me out? I gotta practice. Yeah, that guy just seems like a dickhead. I'm like, you're the fucking bass player. They don't do anything. Why is he the lead guy when he's the bass player? They all sing, or is he the only singer? I don't even like Kiss, so I don't he care. He sings a couple of songs, like or more. Who's than the normal of... singer? Paul Stanley. So Paul Stanley plays guitar and sings, but somehow Gene, Gene Simmons has positioned himself as the main guy in Kiss, right? Oh shit! Does he bang Bo Derek? Who? No, he's married to that Shannon somebody. Shannon. She was like a horror person from like the 80s. Oh, Bo Derek looks like a fucking leather purse now. She always did. Remember whenever she culturally appropriated the dreadlock things? It's fucking hair, man. Cultural appropriation, no, bro. It's fucking, fucking She's hair. canceled. 
I cancel him. Shannon Tweed, right there. That's his woman. Who the fuck is Shannon Tweed? Dude, she's like a one of those soft core porn '80s B movie stars. Who's uh, Ice T married to? That chick with that huge ass. Ice T. Yeah. Is she white? I don't know. I really don't know. I can't tell. Uh, can uh, Coco? Yeah. I don't know who Coco is. Dude, she. No way. She was in Emmanuel, the series. I used to watch that shit. Yeah, she's like a Showtime exclusive. Shannon Tweed is like, has a contract. Is Coco white? I don't know who Coco is. Everybody's saying Coco. How do I know who this is? I mean, I I know who she is, but I didn't know her name. Wait, why are we talking about Coco? Who's, what's up with Coco? I don't know. It just reminded me of, I don't know. She just popped in my head. No, no, but why are we talking about Coco at all? Because it just popped in my head. I just wanted to know who Ice-T was married to. Oh, Ice-T. Yeah, yeah. She had a huge ass. Coco? I've never heard of Coco. I don't care about Ice-T because that dude made a career on talking shit about police. That's what's awesome. He plays a cop on TV. And then he (laughs) turns around and plays a cop on TV. And he does those little crazy quips. Like what? When they find a dead prostitute. Looks like she's not blowing anybody no anymore. Does your really? <laughs> Yes, he does shit like that. It's fucking awesome. Ice T the best the best thing in Ice T is whenever uh I hate Doug Carlos said she used to work at Popeyes. He fell in love with her and he took her to Greener Pastures. Wait, Ice, Ice T literally married a Popeyes worker. <laughs> That's not the American way. I don't know what it is. He's probably like, do you got the spicy recipe? And she's like, yeah. And he's like, I'm taking you home with me. That's fucked up. Best line he ever said in a movie? What? I want to shoot you so bad my dick is hot. Dude, that's what I was going to say. Like when he shoves the gun in Chris Rock's face. Dude. Yeah. Pookie. (laughs) Yeah. Fucking whenever he's like. What movie was that from? uh, I'm going to get you, sucker. No, No, it wasn't. New Jack City? New Jack City. New Jack, New Jack, New Jack Hustler. Yeah. Damn. Am I my brother's keeper? I don't yes, know. Yes, I am. Oh. That's oh, you were, I thought you were asking me. No, no, no. That's that's like one of the things I'm going to say before I shoot you. Am I my brother's keeper? And then I'll shoot you. And then I'll star in a movie called White Men Can't Jump. Dude surviving the game was his best flick. I'm nervous. Is anything. that the one where they're hunting in the woods? I'm pretty sure that was. Were they hunting him? I don't know, but that's... His... And then you find out that there's a fucking predator in the woods, and the predator starts hunting them? I don't know. I've never heard of this movie. I'm pretty sure Like, that's the it. predator, predator? Yeah. Dude, you're mixing up your people. Or wait, one of the white dudes that's hunting them is a child predator. <laughs> child predator. I don't know that. I don't know that movie at all. It was in the horror section. What is it called? Surviving the game. He's like a, a uh, some kind of bum or something, and they pick him up and they take take him out to the woods. I'm pretty sure that one's it. Like the most dangerous game, like the like a it's remake hunting. of that, basically. Yeah. Like yeah, the hunt. Yeah, if you say so. There's like a bunch of those movies, but it's all based on the most dangerous game. I don't know. I've never seen that. Uh, I just felt like Ice-T sold out. He went from being a rapper to a... He yeah. just sold out. I saw... I saw Body Count. I yeah, think, Rutger Hauer. Rutger Hauer, yeah. Rutger Hauer, <laughs> the, the pest. Android. Isn't the pest with John Leguizamo? Yeah, that shit's good. Yeah. That's crazy. I still remember this shit. Um... Uh, I saw Body Count in like 1993 too. or 1994 at... Uh, Ozfest? At, no, it wasn't Ozfest. It was... Um, I have a pick from him. Uh, Lollapalooza. When Lollapalooza actually was a touring festival. It was good. From Rutger Hauer movie from The Hitcher. Hence Rutger Hauer from The Hitcher. 
one of the most underrated slasher movies. Did you see The Hitcher? Yeah. Okay. I'm just. Did you I see the remake? Re I just don't remember. No. Oh, God, it was terrible. I just don't remember uh, surviving the game. I kind of. I do remember seeing about that, but I don't know. I don't know. You saw him last year? Dude, we, I saw him in the heyday. Let's just say Lyric was like seven. Lyric saw body count when she was seven years old. Probably. Yeah, I Probably saw a body count. Uh, I used younger. To, I had the tape. I had the tape that got banned, and they had to change the cover because it was too cop killer. It was like the the crappy, super crappy drawing that said cop killer on the guy's on it, and it's like it was the guy he had like body count tattooed across his stomach. I think that's what it was. I had that tape. I love blasting. There goes the neighborhood. Full blast. There goes the neighborhood. Because they say some really bad parts in there. And they're like, did they just say what I think they said? Oof. But then I got to say, it's Ice-T, man. He's black. It's cool. He's talking about... Himself. Yeah. But it's uh, bad. So what did, what did you think about this movie overall? I thought it was good. Cheaply made, good script. Oh, I don't Decent know how makeup. much they spent on it. I know. Yeah, there was some good makeup and some good uh, and some good uh, special effects. I felt. But Lyric I, said she was seven. That's cool. Body count. Rob Zombie. Uh, man, Lyric seen Slayer. She saw Gore. I don't know. She saw Suicidal. Um, what I did like about this movie is that, uh, I mean, there were there were some weird correlations between the two movies that I didn't, that I didn't. Yeah, uh, how they cut the tops of their mouths to get the Yeah, like out. they both, in both movies, they scratched the inside of their mouth. But I thought it was a little blood. excessive blood in the second. But it's weird. They came, literally came out within two months of each other, so they didn't copy off of each other. So is that like a real witch thing? I don't know. Who knows? Uh, next time I'm on the no, strip, for real. I'll Who ask knows one of those there? girls. You think one those strip girls, huh? Strip witch? Dude, we should like start a, start a clothing line called Strip Witch. Strip witches? So, but want know, also, want to know some strip witches, right? One. Do you know that the Hellbender is a type of salamander? No, I didn't know that. And Numi Rapace played a character called Lisbeth Salander. What? Yeah, Salander Salamander. That's pretty close. Maybe it's to keep from having a visible injury. Did somebody say that? Oh, Jamie did. That and that's why she's could, a director producer. That could be, like, so you cut your inside of your mouth, so you see you later. All right. Peace, chat. Later. Thanks for tuning in. So, so you think like they cut their mouth? That's so no one can see the injury. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. That kind of does make sense. But it was weird how it was in both movies. I've never seen that in a movie before. And then it was in these two movies that came out within th within two months of each other. Like one came out in January and one came out in February. Like that's kind of weird, right? That they both had like so many like themes that were like right along the same lines. I think one of my favorite parts from Hellbender was... When the mom starts like, you can tell she's kind of like freaking out because she finds the book in her room and she's like, oh shit. Oh, she took it out of the secret room yeah. and took it to her own a, room. The touch, daughter took it to her own you room. You had to touch the door and they spent all their fucking $300,000 on the key coming out of the back Dude, of the hand. I bet it's they, pretty decent, you know what I mean? I bet they, I'm, I'm going to bet because they were a family and they made this movie together, I bet they made it for like. Fifteen thousand dollars or something. There's no way to tell. The nothing. I could not find anything about how much they spent on this movie. They probably spent the most on that. And when she goes and she finds a, a wooden trunk in the in the base, where was it? Yeah, in the basement. Oh and yeah. She keeps saying, "Why were you down there?" 
oh, nothing, just looking around. And she opens it up because she sees blood. And there's, there's like, like this giant, giant intestine, intestine hole. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty that cool. Was and weird. she starts climbing through it. Yeah. And you realize it's a fucking, some kind of nest that she takes bodies in to feed on. That was another... Yeah, so she asked her, she's like, what, what is this place? And the daughter's like, this is my happy place. And she's all happy and smiling. Yet her friend, her, her friend that she had made. Met at the pool. Is like half eaten in there. And she's like, do you want some? And she's like, just eating her with a fork. Dude, that shit was pretty fucked. Yeah, it fucking went south real quick. Yeah, it went <laughs> real bad. I was like, holy shit, this chick is this chick is a demon. But you find out that she's been eating people since the very beginning. Because she ate the guy. Oh, yeah, that guy that was chasing her from yeah. the pool. Yeah, I mean, she at least, like, kind of ate him. She made She's him. tempting the mom with food, remember? Show me, mom, show me. Yeah. And she, like, changes real quick into, like, this crazy demon monster for a split second that was cool like that was some cool uh i mean it was cgi effect but it was cool it was like still all right the, like... the mom opens her mouth and like crazy teeth like all her teeth are sharp and her eyes kind of roll back and one's all like weird and yeah and she was, was cool. like Do you and she was s- like you're beautiful and then you if i show you what what did she say if i show you me you'd be scared yeah. And then she does it, and she's pretty fucking creepy. Yeah. Looking. Well, she had been eating people the whole time. And the mom, you you basically find out the mom had been eating a bunch of people, too, like early in her life. And that's what she was. The mom at one point, I think, says she's 148 years old or yeah. something. Yeah. 140 something. She's like, I know how to, become, to bear a child, you have to. Uh, Eat the mom. Eat well, your mom. Well, they're, they keep they, saying, like, you know, winter eats fall. Oh, yeah, winter eats fall. Spring eats winter, like, whatever. So it gives like, you the idea, like, you know, you have to feed. Yeah. So basically it's like, person yeah, I have to, you. yeah, I have to And then she's all mom. scared, please don't eat me. And she's like, I'm not going to eat you, mom. I'm all happy. I love you. I love you. And I'm not ready to have my own little hellbender. And then she's like... I'm going to the town. Would you like anything? <laughs> no, she was yeah. so funny. Yeah, and so the mom's the, all the crying whole, and scared. The whole time the mom has been going to town. And, and saying, do you want and anything? And saying, like, do you want anything? You can't come with me. You have to stay here. And at the end, the daughter's like, I'm going to town. Do you want anything? And she's all scared. <laughs> Bass strings? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. Yeah. Which is hilarious because you wouldn't need bass strings if you're just playing in your basement because you wouldn't wear them out very much. Yeah, but basements are muggy and oh, so maybe they, they got like some, and maybe rust. she didn't clean them after she plays, so they got like dead yeah, skin all to, in them. Yeah, and you got it. Gross. Texas Brit said, "I can't wait to see that." It yeah, is good. it's pretty good, man. It's pretty yeah. good. It's it's good. the The thing you have to get over is about this movie is the acting. I wouldn't say it was bad. I I didn't. I didn't think it was bad, like especially for like something that had that a family made. All I'm gonna say home. is the best actor in the movie was. Thanks, Juan. Thanks for following us. Oh, sweet. Um, Thanks. The the best actor in the movie was the dead deer that they find. <laughs> Just laying there. There was there was some good. There was <laughs> some weird. good. There was some good makeup in it. Like I thought there was some really good makeup in it. Um, I thought that um, the acting. I didn't think the acting was bad. I just didn't think it was great. It was a little bit stiff. I'm telling you, they all start every scene pretty much. They started out stiff, yeah. but then they kind of loosened up. Yeah, I kind of. I didn't see that, but I wasn't paying attention to that, so I can't I can't like I comment on that. Everything. But like, I thought the the soundtrack was good, which is cool because they did it all. The cinematography was pretty good, even though they overused drone drones. shots. There was there were like kind of too many drone shots, but like all the other shots, there was like a cool Dutch angle in there where you know that things have gone awry. Lyric. And then, that's what she said. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. We're all sitting here. She's like, uh oh. 
Dutch angle shot, something's gonna ride. No, uh, uh, I hate Doug Carlos says, is it considered a B movie? So it wouldn't, the acting being bad wouldn't be part of the B movie or ingredient. No, I don't think it's considered a B movie. No, not at all. Like, these people literally bought equipment and made a movie at their home and in their surrounding area, and it looks like a legit movie. The acting isn't bad, and it's not like a trauma movie where it's like over bad the top, acting. bad. Like it's it's like they're like okay actors, and the acting is a a little off at points. Like I didn't think the acting was that bad. Like it wasn't like oh my god, this acting so bad, so bad that you like it. It, it was just like kind of like mediocre. I thought the mom was good. Um. The the daughter was a little stiff sometimes, but I but I didn't think it was bad. And the the main thing was the when they got into the editing, I feel like it was um, I I feel like they could have used some better color grading. I think that's the thing. It's like it's like they they did some really good shots, they did some really good camera angles, but then they didn't they. For whatever reason, it's just a little too... The whole movie's a little bit too bright and not cinematic looking. So it's so bright, it doesn't. the film doesn't seem like it has depth to it, if that makes sense. Yeah. But that didn't, that didn't bother me because but you I know thought what? the story like said, was usually, really good. Usually movies that are like that, but I did you watch them. Did you think the story was good enough that like... Yeah, it was a great... It, it's like a weird like coming of age kind of story, but they both were. That's color grading due to lighting weird. yes yeah the color grading yeah i mean they they could have they could have like in their post they could have uh they could have like changed the they they definitely could have had like just a straight up like one lutz that they just plugged into the whole thing and and made it uh have a little more depth like they could have just used a plug-in and and kind of made it go but it, I don't know. It just seemed a little bit too videotapeish. You know what I mean? Like it's like watching a 4K movie. Shut up. 4K movies are okay in my book. I don't know. It it was like I don't know. It it it. Uh, I think the lighting. Um, I mean, I think the lighting. I don't think the lighting was bad. I think it was just the overall color grading. It was just too bright, and I was hoping it didn't have that cinematic experience. Yeah, to it. that's that's definitely what it did. It wasn't dynamic enough, and and I think that if they would have, um, I was really hoping that it was like, oh, it's all bright like this because she's innocent and she doesn't know she's a witch yet. And I kind of was hoping it would turn. You know, they would add like some some darker blues and grays like after she realized she was a witch you know or some vignette or something like something would have like like darkened up the like made it seem more gritty once she realized she was a witch and it was getting because the story progressively got darker yeah and i and i kind of thought maybe that's what they were going for um but they really didn't it was just like they shot it and they didn't really do anything to it maybe they didn't have the programs to do it I mean, that could be, you know. Possibly. I don't know. That's a, I don't really know. But it was, it was a good movie. I really, I really did enjoy the storyline. I thought, uh, I I didn't think the acting was bad enough that would, I wouldn't tell people to watch it. And, and it did have some cool gore. Like it had some, you know, some, like the, the hand where they open the door. There was a scene where the there was like a hidden room where the she had like the mom had photos of her whole family like ancestors and and there was this book that I guess was like their magical history of their family and you know their you know whatever what are which books called not ne necronomicons they're called cosmopolitans cosmopolitan yeah where you learn how to have sex with yeah. your man how to give the best blowjob. Yeah, Cosmo turn to page fifty-seven. Yeah, so, so like Mind the, stepchildren. the room where all the cosmopolitans are. She goes up and there's like a symbol, their symbol on the door, and she touches it, 
and a key like shoots out of her hand. That was like they did that like three times, I think, in the show, and that was like a pretty good special effect. And it, I mean, obviously yeah, but CGI. You know what? The last one they did didn't look as good as the first one. If you really watch it, I'll have to I'll have to look at that again. But and you know what? I was gonna say that symbol that they use, and it looks exactly if it's not the same as the symbol in Kill List, which you still haven't seen. No, I haven't. You need to watch. If you haven't seen Kill List, watch it. It's streaming probably on Hulu. Maybe it's on one of the streaming services. But it's great. It's a great movie. The what? guy that's in it is the director and the writer. It's it's so good. What is that one about? It's just about these ex-soldier. He's retired. He was a hitman. And he's kind of retired. Well, this gangster guy comes to him and says, I need you to do another job. And he gives him all this money. And the wife's like, no, don't do it. But he's like, man, we need the money. So he gets back into it. And it's a, a kill list. And he has to go and off these people. And as he's offing them off, as he's killing them, as he's offing them, they're like, he's like, what the fuck? Like, what am I doing? Like, but it's like so graphic. Who's the killer? I, he's, they're all unknown, man. I know, uh, maybe cool. the, his partner, I've seen him in a couple of movies, but, and just the soundtrack too is real eerie and creepy. That's another one that'd be that I would consider that one a, a witchy movie too. Another witchy one would be uh, Autopsy of Jane Doe. Oh man! If you haven't seen that one, that's that a really is, good one. That's one of the ones that I really want Emily to watch, but I I know she doesn't like <laughs> ghost movie type. I <laughs> I know he does. She doesn't like ghost movie type movies. And I mean that's a straight up like ghost story Not type. Really? You know, I don't think, think so. so. I don't know. It's so it's such a good movie though. It's not. It's 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 not a ghost movie. It no, is a good movie though. It's yeah, it's yeah. a witch fucking with people's minds. It's like a dead, not dead witch. Zombie witch. Yes, the guy does say, I'm too old for this shit, Riggs. That was a good one. The witch. Have you haven't seen the actual movie The Witch? The bitch. Yeah, the bitch. The bitch. Who directed that one? I always get those two right. Ed Edgar's, right? Eggers. Yeah. Robert Eggers. He also did Lighthouse, which I haven't yeah. seen yet. I haven't seen that either, and it's in my list. Um, and and I want to see it, but I just haven't. I don't know why. What's another good witchy one? Lords of Salem. <laughs> no, it's not. That movie sucked. <laughs> so much ass it was so bad and it has all the original scream queens in it Blair Witch I have still never seen Blair Witch can we watch that and do a review on it the original Blair Witch yeah hell yeah let's do it I have we'll never... watch it on VHS yeah well so I I had I grew up being a huge horror movie fan um didn't Pocus know. Pocus. Wait, that's the one with uh, Bette Midler? And Madonna, right? I don't know. Bette Midler just got canceled. Because she said some shit about, like, not, like, women and trans women and some oh, people God. flipped out on her. But anyways. Um, what did you see in the theater? Pocus Blair Pocus? Witch. I have never seen Blair Witch because I grew up being such a horror movie fan that when Blair Witch came out, you it, were too fucking. Well, it, it was kind of cool no, it was kind of the same thing as like when Scream came out. Except for at that point, I was like older, but like younger people were like, "Oh, Scream is too much hype," or like, you know, people don't want to see it because there's too much hype behind it before anyone's even seen it. There's already like crazy, crazy hype, you know. So I didn't want to go see Blair Witch. I saw it and it theater, became and one it of those things me. where I'm like, I'm not going to see it. Fuck you, I'm not going to see it. Kind of like how you are with some movies nowadays. Midsummer. Midsummer, which is, dude, Midsummer has some of the best gore scenes ever in movies. It is crazy. They have some crazy ass practical effect gore scenes. It's crazy. Yeah, that was his most genius idea. 
the directors of Blair Witch. So I have still never seen Blair Witch. To this day, all I've still unknown, never seen Blair all Witch. All unknown actors. They started pushing. Hey, look, these kids got are, are missing. So I said, I am never going to see Blair Witch unless I watch it on VHS at a certain point. And what happened a couple months ago, I go to a convention and a guy has Blair Witch there, brand new, what have never you, been watched. What if you never opened it when you opened it right now? It was Pinocchio. Oh my God. <laughs> that would freak me out. No, he had two of them. So I actually like, I was like, oh, I'm going to check this out. Make sure it's good. It was good. Looks like it's never been watched before. Brand new. So Texas Brit said Blair Witch sucked to me. Oof. See? Well, I've still never seen it. Oh, Wait, no, man. same guy from Hereditary as what? Uh, I hate Doug Carlos said same guy's ho from Hereditary. You talking about uh, Midsummer? I hate Doug Carlos. There's so, a thirty second delay. So I'm did you wait. see the new Blair Witch? No, Which I've never a... seen any Blair Witch. Yeah, so he said Midsummer. Same. Yeah, I knew it was the same guy. Carlos knows it's the same guy. Carlos loves Hereditary, yet for some reason will not see Midsummer. Because I heard it has a fucking bear. I don't want to see a bear die. I like bears. <laughs> I like Chicago. Have you watched The Revenant? Yeah, but they don't kill him. Yeah, he's straight up. Not the Cubs. That The dude who drowned they in don't the kill Titanic the Cubs. kills the freaking bear. The Titanic guy kills the bear. That guy from the Titanic. It's like not good, but that started the whole found footage. What Blair Witch? I mean, I don't. I feel like it's probably good because people. I like the newer one they released, like five years ago, maybe. It's they finally show the Blair Witch. If you haven't seen it, I. I don't want to know anything about this. You're telling me now that they don't show the Blair Witch in this. Now I just learned something about Blair Witch that I You're not going to watch it anyway. I, we're going we're gonna to talk about it. And We should do a found footage episode, but centered on the Blair Witch. Because then we can talk about some other found footage. Like, uh... Cannibal Holocaust? Well, what's the other... Uh, Cannibal Holocaust is the OG found yeah. footage one. Yeah, one. Cannibal Holocaust, if you haven't seen that. It literally got banned, and they brought the director to trial because they thought he murdered people right when they he showed up at the theater he was taken away in cuffs doug wiped the top of that vc vhs tape like it's bothering the shit out of me because it's dusty yes dusty like from that's why i always have my lights off in my apartment because everything's covered with dust who was it they just told us that they saw the movie about dusty with george Strait? The George Strait movie, Pure Country. His name was Dusty in that movie. Fucking Janet. Dude, she just saw it for the first... Dude, how are you from Texas and you've never seen Pure Country? Yeah, once did they actually kill those animals in that movie. That movie made me start killing animals. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Your fucking face. But what... What what's the other found footage movie? Uh, the one where they're going into pure the, country. That that was found footage, right? Well, yeah. I mean, it's just footage from George Strait's life. And they show him in the shower after a show, and his fucking what, dong what is flopping it? around. What is the the found footage movie? Uh, 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 fucking everything's found footage. No, now. but the one where they go into the where they're supposed to be filming a show, and they go in there. They're supposed to be filming a horror movie show. No. Oh, Grave Encounters. Grave Encounters. That one is great. Dude, see, we could do we could do Blair Witch, Grave Encounters, and like some... I mean, we could we could base it around Blair Witch since I've never seen Blair Witch. But then we can... We could uh, throw in Grave Encounters. Grave Juan, Encounters Paranormal is Juan. awesome. Paranormal Activity was great until the fucking... A Ouija board caught on fire. Wait, is Paranormal Activity, who's the main actor in that? Michael Keaton? Schindler's List was found footage. I know. That was fucked up. What, 
What is who's who's the main actor in Paranormal Activity? No, no, I'm thinking about White Noise. White Noise is the one with Michael Keaton, right? That was a good one. I saw it. Yeah, I saw it in the theater too, and they filmed part of it by where I used to live. So I was like, oh, I've seen that place. Yeah, that was that would be a good episode. Yeah, Paranormal Activity. Um, Yeah, that would we should maybe you want to do that next week because we haven't even discussed what we're going to do next week. We're just like flying by the seat of our pants right now. Yeah, because there's not really a lot of new horror movie. I mean, there is, but nothing I really want to talk Doesn't about. Doesn't have to be new right now. Yeah, I guess. Can be whatever. We oh, I can't wait Godzilla. to do a... That Godzilla one that came out in like the 90s that you love. Shin? No, no, no. The other one. With Matthew Broderick? There's one you hate, actually. That's the one I was talking about. I like the Matthew Broderick one better than the... Than the one made by Garth Ennis. Ernest Ennis? That's the one you like. No, it's terrible. That's one of the first times I almost walked out of a theater. I know, you told me. I've only walked out of one theater before. And it was that Natalie Portman and it was a Natalie Portman show. This shit's gonna fall dude. It's gonna crash. or something. I don't know what it was called. It was Natalie Portman and Oh the Star Wars I think prequels? Pretty Woman. Uh, no no Natalie Portman and I think Pretty Woman, I think. Uh, Julia Roberts. God, what was that? Closer. What oh, is that? I've never even God. heard of that. What it's was like, that one with Natalie Portman where she turns into a black duck at the end? No, a swan. Oh, I've never seen that either. That was a remake. I know. Or did I? I don't know. Black duck? Black duck. Yeah. Blackened duck. <laughs> was it the black swan? <laughs> yeah, the black swan. Yeah, black swan. Black and swan. Black and swan is a Cajun dish. You would probably like... <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> yeah, there's some She won an parts. Oscar for that one, right? Wait, did she really? Who, Natalie Portman? I think she won an Oscar for one of them. I don't know. There, there was one... There was a... Uh, Natalie Portman did a little short with Jason Schwartzman before some movie. Do you know when she was like trying to seduce Jason Schwartzman? Do you know? Who the fuck would want to seduce Jason Schwartzman? I don't know, but like the whole, I don't know what it was. I wish I did. But it was like her like trying to like have sex with Jason Schwartzman, but it was only like this little five minute short before a movie. Wasn't it Darla Jeerling Limited? Was Dar-Jean. that? Was that? Jamie, I never saw was that, that one. Before, was that like a short before? Oh, see, Juan said, uh, so it was, it was definitely one of those movies. Yeah, that fucking disturbed me. Something about that made me, I have not liked her since that. It was weird. I thought I was she like, was all right in Hesher. She grosses me out. And now she's like the new Thor. But you won't, oh, I don't like that. I mean, you I liked the, her, I liked her in Hesher, but you won't watch Hesher because it has, what's his name? Who? Adrian Brody? No, that kid from 30 Rock from the Sun, Third Rock from the Sun. The one you said was an asshole. Oh, yeah, that guy. What's his name? Yeah. Uh, Rick. Um, what was his name? He had his whole TV show called Rick. Record everything. Uh, God, what's that fucking kid's name? Yeah, Hotel Chevalier. It's like 13 minutes long. Yeah, Juan, that's it. Did you like that one? Because... I just found it gross, and I don't know why, but like something's weird about it to me. I just didn't like it. Um, uh, God dang it! What's that kid's name? He was at Looper. Looper was good though. Come Looper on, Looper was good. Looper's probably one of the best time travel movies. So, so Thor, her best movie is like when she's a little kid, the assassin movie. Professional? Hell Dude, yeah! That's li- Joseph Gordon, Gordon Levitt. Love it. Love it. I hope he's watching right now, and I'm gonna say fuck that guy. Dude, that guy was such a dickhead. He wasn't actually such a dickhead as his best friend. His best friend who was Seth his tour manager. The one that had. Is Seth gets, Rogen his got, best friend? That one. Oh, I'm thinking of the movie. No. Where he gets cancer and. He, I haven't seen that. I mean either. Dude, his friend was such a douche. Juan said he's never seen. 
Yeah, it's not good. It like literally made me not like her. I was just like, oh, gross. This is gross. I don't know. Something about it just grossed me out. Like the whole feel of that grossed me out. So, Hesher is an all Metallica soundtrack. Okay. And it's... It's about uh, some Heshers. It's about Joseph Gordon. He watched every video he could find on Cliff Burton. Okay. To play... He acts like Cliff Burton. His hair... Lo he looks like Cliff Burton in the movie. Okay. He drives around in a black van. And it's just about him helping his family out. With uh, Rain, Wil Rain Wilson. I don't know. Dwight I from uh, Dwight from Dwight, the yeah. Office. Rain Wilson. He plays uh, the dad, and his wife just died in a car accident. I don't know. It's it's pretty I, good, I don't man. Know. Are you Warren, have you seen me? it? I don't know. I haven't seen that show. I, I want you to watch it, but you don't like Joseph Gordon. No. And who else is in it? Natalie Portman. Yeah. See. But I liked her in that one. She plays a fucking. No, nerd. I don't dislike her. That one movie, like that one movie, just I don't know something about it. Like made me feel gross. It gave you a weird feeling in your yeah. pants. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, something's weird. Like, on the front. Dude, that's a good one. I didn't see pants. that one. What the hell? That's a good one. What? Oh, yeah. Man, that's good. There's some good ones in there. I think there's like 10 of them. Like um, you liked it a little too much? No, I didn't like it at all. It was gross. So I don't know what it is. And maybe I should watch it again. Maybe there's something like... Something about why I was, I don't know. Something was weird about it. it. Seemed like a rape scene or something. Just creeped me out. I don't know. If you want to watch a rape scene, no, Irreversible. I don't. I don't Irreversible wanna... has the worst rape scene ever put on film. I don't. I don't want to watch any rape scenes. Have I told you about my childhood? I don't yeah. want to, I don't want to relive that again through cinema. You gotta use it to your advantage, though, Doug. <sighs> I think Jason Schwartzman's character was creepy, and then Natalie Portman was was naked. Okay, I'm Nobody okay. Nobody said anything about Natalie being naked. I'm okay with Natalie Portman being naked, but I, it was something about his character was weird, and then she was like totally like seducing him, and he was creepy, and it was like. He wrote it, and so I was like... <laughs> In a weird way? Yeah, it was weird. It was weird. And like... What, does she have her legs behind her ears? Walking you know, it's, her like, butt cheeks? it's like, maybe he That's wrote... That's weird. Here's like, okay, maybe Jason Schwartzman wrote it and directed it. He's like, I'm going to get Natalie Portman to direct it to be in this because I want to see her naked and sitting on my lap. Because I think like that's like some weird shit that like directors can do. Yeah. It was the mole and the fact he was in Phantom Planet. Dude, I don't know. I love Jason Schwartzman, and I don't have anything against Natalie Portman. I mean, V for Vendetta is like a great freaking movie. I like Jason Schwartzman in that new Predator movie where he plays a hard ass, and they're on that planet. Wait, what? The, he's the main guy, right, in Predators? Jason Schwartzman? I think you're mixed up. Are you sure? With Danny yeah. Trejo and all them? I think you're mixed up. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Rushmore. Great movie. Have I've never seen movie. it. Never seen it. Holy shit. Dude. Lyric just took... She took the... Thanks, Lyric. She took the Criterion. The Wes Anderson Criterion. Wes Anderson's one of my favorite actors. I mean, favorite director writers. Everything's too fucking straight and centered. What are you talking about? He has to be fucking dead center and everything has to be equal parts and has to go like You're this. talking about the, the actual visual of the movie? I don't like that. I don't like shit to be chaotic. You've seen my fucking apartment. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the... Eric said Tee Predator 6. Why <laughs> down for the galaxy beyond? What? That's where... That's where uh... Jason Statham. No, he was the main guy. I think, oh my God, Carlos has Jason Statement and Jason Schwartzman, Schwartzman mess, mixed up. He was the main guy and everybody's like, damn, he sucks. He's trying to be all hard. He has a gun and a sniper rifle and he's like, fuck that. Let's get out of here. Get You're talking spray. about the nerdy guy from. No, the main guy. J <laughs> Jason Schwartzman is from like I Heart Huckabees. We got to get out of here. This fucking planet's killing me. 
And I'm like, dude, you suck. You're not hard. Have you seen I Heart Huckabees? No. Okay. Have you seen Rushmore? No. Have you heard Phantom Planet? Adrian Brody. Oh my God. They are completely, completely different people. <laughs> those are, Adrian Brody won. How do you even mix up those noses? That's probably why. Dude, Adrian Brody's nose is like fucking this VHS on my head. Oh, fuck. They made a whole, like, they made a whole family guy about his nose. It's so big. How do you mix those two guys up? Predators. It's predators. The dude from Piano, yes. He says, I'm getting too old for this shit, Predator. <laughs> oh, my God. So this whole time you thought that Adrian Brody was the one in all these movies. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, fuck. Rushmore and Piano are different, same, diff completely different. Adrian Brody doesn't look anything like Jason Schwartzman. You're welcome. Oh, I my actually God. love that movie. What, Predators? Oh, yeah, it has Danny. Oh, Danny. Oh, I'm dude. fucking done with that dude. Dude, fuck that guy. He said not to pop fireworks on New Year's because you might scare dogs. He did a post about, like, don't it's pop fireworks. He's a fucking dog, man. He's like a fucking convicted felon, right? And he's telling me not to pop firecrackers. Fuck that guy. I tattooed his sister-in-law. Did you really? She gave me some pictures. Yeah, I heard his tacos suck. He's from California. He's always here visiting because he goes up to Austin to visit Robert Rodriguez. Yeah. And one day he was at the Flying Saucer when I was there. I probably shouldn't say fuck him. He'll probably come chop me up with a machete. <laughs> well, that dude's like this big. Who, Danny Trejo? Yes. So I went to the horror convention. Did I ever tell you this? I think no. I told you. I went to the horror convention, and the room was, we had got a hotel in the in the hotel there. We got a room in the hotel of the horror convention. And Obi-Wan says his taco spot is whack. Yeah. So anyway, I go up to this elevator, and it just shut. I didn't see anything. So I'm just hitting the button for the next one. Well, the fucking doors opened up, and it's packed. And who the fuck is looking right at me? I'm looking down. Fucking Danny Trejo. You're saying you're looking down because he's like so short. Yeah, and he's like, you going up? <laughs> That's what he told me. How tall do you think he is? Like five foot six. He's fucking short. That's pretty Like low. he's shorter than me. Like he's Jamie, real short. Jamie, how tall are you? Jamie, can you hear me in the other room? Probably. No, I like the the Predator versus Jamie's Aliens. Five five. So you're saying that Danny Trejo is only like a foot tall? Uh, yeah, he's short. He's than, real short. Than Jamie. So that was my touch of fame with Danny Trejo. And then I got into the elevator with. Uh... Dude, I agree with uh, uh, B Castillo. Is is Predator movies are awesome, but Predator versus Alien sucks. I don't. It's just like Jason versus Freddy. All that cross-platform shit. Sucks. I really. You know what? The first one, not Requiem, where they invade the town. Yeah. I didn't like that one, because the predator, alien predator, had dreads. I didn't like that. Like, come on, man. It looked dumb. But the one where they go to the pyramid. But you're. you're that was somewhat. Wait, wait, but we're talking about the first movie, Predator versus Aliens. Yeah. The one where they're at the you pyramid. You like that? Okay. I like it somewhat. I like because Lance Hen uh, Hendrickson. Hendrickson was in it, and it kind of tells you the history where it shows all the the predators on top of the pyramid and all the aliens are rushing to the top. I just don't like those crossovers. The second one was trash, but if the first not, one was uh, was somewhat all right. If it's not an Angels Buffy crossover, I don't want to see it. Oh man, it's, ugh, fuck that fucking stuff. What are you talking about? All those Buffy and Angel. The you director's. Think about, dude? That dude's a that dude's trash. A director, Which one? Josh oh, Whedon. Josh Whedon, dude, he's awesome. No, he's not. He's a dickhead. Yeah, he's a dickhead to his actors. I actually actor. don't give a shit about he's that. He's such a dick to his actors. He brings all the best out of them. Yeah. Charisma Carpenter's like, I'm not working with this fucker. I'm like, you know what? He made your career, bitch. That's what I say to her. I don't really say that to her. Dang, Carlos, you're spot on. Look. Yeah, see? Five, five. He's no. fucking Holy short, dude. Shit. I'm telling you, he's real short. Oh, five, five, three quarters. Yeah, you were right. That's pretty, that's pretty good. 
Yeah, look, Obi-Wan says, dude, first of all, Buffy is tight. I'm going to try to do this. I don't know if that came through. It did. It, looks but... like it was all right. You know, Adrian Brody looks like the guy in the first one who gets who gets killed, Hawkins. He gets killed by the tree. So, Juan, what do you think about uh, what do you think about uh, uh, Firefly? That shit's tight. I don't know. I like. I can't get behind Firefly. You can't have horses and fucking laser guns. You don't Dude, make no goddamn sense. They're going. It's a no, no. It's a space western. No, 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 no. It's a space western. No, no. Uh, uh-uh. uh. I don't think so. Also, the main character in that is totally in Buffy for a while. What's his name? Uh, Nathan. Lane? Nathan. No. Nathan no, Lane. No, wait, wait, wait. From uh, Birdcage. His name is Nathan. Something. It's Nathan something in real life, I think. Dude, Texas Brit, Buffy. Buffy's the shit. Hawkins. Serenity is amazing. Wasn't Hawkins. Oh, wait. What did, uh, I hate Doug Carlos, Adrian Brother, looks like the guy in the killed. Gets killed, Hawkins. He gets killed by a tree. Nathan. Fiedler. You know, Shane yes. Black, Shane Black wrote Predator, or he helped rewrite it. And then he directed the latest Predator, which was not very good. With the Mega Predator, the original Predator and the newer, the new Predators, yeah, or the Predator, the newer Predator. Yeah, he yeah, wrote, he helped predator. John uh, McTiernan. McTiernan, he helped him with rewrites on the Predator. So, in the newest Predator, who's are any of the original people in it? No, supposedly Schwarzenegger was supposed to come out, but he turned it down. Yeah, Shane Black, who's Hawkins, he's done. He did. Um, Kiss, kiss, bang. Yeah, he did uh, the nice guys. Oh yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen the nice guys, man. Obi Wan says Serenity was really good. Carlos might dig it because it's more into the reverse. So that's just the uh, just the movie. So basically, they canceled the show, and the fans freaked out so much that they made a movie to wrap it all up and kind of tell like a overall story. And it was really good. It was a really good. We should, we're gonna watch it. What movie was okay? Which one? Castillo said the movie was okay. Have you haven't seen Kiss Kiss Bang Bang 2? Oh, and he directed Iron Man 3. I didn't know that. Or maybe he wrote it? I think maybe he wrote it. I don't know. Have we... Do we stop talking oh, about he the wrote, movie that we're here talking about? Yeah, we're already done with it. We're, now we're just going off on a tangent. <laughs> The tangents are the best part about this show. Yeah, yeah, he wrote the original Lethal Weapon script. Wait, Shane he did? Black, Hawkins. Oh. That. Yeah, that dude's done a lot of stuff. That's cool. Last Action Hero. The yeah, Predator. the new Predator. The new Predator was okay. The CGI sucked. Juan, I'm gonna, Predator? I'm gonna tell you something. I just finished watching Buffy, the entire series. Like I watched it from beginning to end over the last like couple of months best thing about the new predator was the predator dogs he didn't even care i don't give a fuck about buffy <laughs> the only buffy i care about is the movie the movie was good dude what, now, do you, what do you think about the buffies though dude buffy is all about a coming of age story just like these two witch movies we just watched uh, she's literally a kid that gets sucked into a world that she doesn't understand has to grow as a person. Okay, you got me. It sucked. Continue. So you think both these movies sucked? <laughs> it's such a good movie. She falls in love. She has to kill her lover. She falls in love again. It's good stuff. No. It's good stuff. No. It's a teen drama. You know what I do like, though? I'm going to tell you. Sarah Michelle Geller married her her boyfriend the guy from swim Scooby-Doo? fan and scooby-doo i think he was in swim fan why did he get canceled I something happened to he him he got canceled yeah he What's doesn't come out of jamie him? can you look up to see who that guy is i can't even remember his name right now but yeah he's the he's the main guy in scooby-doo he's fred and scooby-doo freddie prince jr she married oh, freddie yeah. prince jr his dad was chico in the man the old 70s series he shot himself she, Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, his dad blew his head that off. That sucks. Depression. She married Freddie Prince Jr. I love a drug. What? She married Freddie Prince Jr. in real life. They have children. 
they're still married to this day. They like are a, they're like a real like they're Hollywood success story. Yeah, there's very few of those. There are very few. So you're saying because of that I should watch it? No. Yeah. You know what else? Buffy. You know the girl from uh, from uh, American Pie is like I stuck a flute in my vagina. I fucking vagina. don't like her, so I'm not well, gonna watch it. She's one of the main characters too, and she's a little annoying. But she married one of the other characters that ended up being a character in Angel, and they're still married. That means that Buffy and Angel are a good series because people that are in them are actually good people in real life, other than Joss Whedon. <sighs> Dumbest stuff I've ever heard in my life. I'm just saying. Willow. Yep, Willow. Who the hell's Willow? Except for Xander. <laughs> the guy that played Xander in the movie. There's in the in Buffy. There's a scene there's one thing in Buffy where uh where Xander, her like best friend, is <laughs> I like how we're talking about Buffy now. <laughs> <laughs> Willow was a witch, though, and this is a witch episode. I thought you were talking about Willow the movie. Willow. Oh, no, you hate him. Um, so, uh, I don't really like a lot of people, huh? No. It's, it's bad. I guess. Maybe I should change my ways. So, so <laughs> uh, Xander, the guy that plays Xander in the show, there's one episode where it's like he has a doppelganger. It's like his evil... I don't know if it's his evil twin, but he says... Are like you listening to yourself? This it's, sounds terrible. But like I was like, how the shit did they do this before CGI? I was trying to figure out how they had two Xander standing here. He has a twin brother that looks like... I mean, looks like... <laughs> see, Obi-Wan, see? Man, me and Juan are going to get together and just watch... I hate Doug Carlos, Snake Plissken, and Goldie Hawn still kicking it. Yes. I don't know who Snake Plissken is. Kurt Russell. Wait, they're still together? Yes, for like fucking 50 years. That's crazy. And That's they have good. little Kurt Russell, who's fucking awesome, too. That's awesome. He was an overlord, and he sounded just like Nicolas Cage. So, so like, his real brother's on there, and so that was a really cool episode because it they he's playing himself, you know, double. But... Xander, the actor in real life, it's so man, dumb. they had a play. The dudes fucked. Like he literally was supposed to be like one of the main people at Comic Con one year, and he got arrested the night before. He's like a drunken wife beating. Like I think I heard about that, dude. Maybe I did hear about it's that. It's really sad. But I'm still not gonna watch it. It's really sad because he's like. He's like one of those people that that's the only thing he's ever done. He'd get paid like hundreds of dollars to sign people's autographs at Did, Comic Con. Uh, does Paul Rubens come out in it? Paul Rubens is the shit. Does he come out like in the um, in the movie? Does he come out in the series? But Doug Jones is in it. Doug Jones is in it. Ah. Uh, oh, see, look. She said right when I said Doug Jones is in it. Yeah. Something about what you said made me think of Doug, Doug Jones and must have done to Jamie too. I, you don't know who Snake Pis, Piskin is? Pliskin. Piskin? Pliskin. Snake Pliskin. I don't know. I've never heard of Escape from New York. Dude, yes you have. Shut up. Mm -mm. It's one of the best. I don't know who One Joe of Bob, John Carpenter. Escape Bob, from LA is fucking trash. I don't know who Joe Bob Riggs is either. Joe Bob Riggs doesn't even exist. Texas Brit said, I don't like a lot of people either. Oh, cool. Then we're, you know, she's chatting with us. So I guess she might like us. I don't like a lot of people either. Yeah. I don't either. I pretty much keep it. Oh, whatever. You talk to everybody. That doesn't mean I like them. Me, I just go to my room. Or I go to my room upstairs, which is next to my mom's room. You can be sociable <laughs> without liking people. I'm not. If I don't like you, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to like you. That's it. What about all these people that you like work with, like tattoo and stuff? I know there's some ones you don't like, but you're like, fuck, I like your money. Yeah, but I don't. I don't really talk to them. That is true. You just jam metal music. But I just yeah. I, I'm. I've been like that since I started tattooing. I Here's don't what I hear. Here's what I hear whenever you're tattooing and I'm there. You ready? For like two hours. And then, all right. You want to go take a look at it? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Um, what would you say about Hellbender? You think people should watch it? Yeah, I think people should watch Hellbender. Yeah, I think man, people should I, watch both of them. I 
I really, really liked Hellbender. I thought the story, I mean, getting over how the visuals look, because it was a little bit like, you were, you were actually, the, you said something, you were like, oh, I don't like how it looks. Oh, we want to. <laughs> Buffy plays <laughs> Buffy's better than Hellbender in his in his opinion. Oh, is it over? Okay. Yeah. I, I just saw less. Let's just start a Buffy show, dude. If I thought, if I thought I could, if I had somebody, Juan, if you want to come in, will you talk use, Buffy? Yeah, we'll sit in Carlos's mom's basement. Can me and Juan use your mom's yeah, basement? Yeah, can, yeah, whatever. Talk about Buffy. Y'all can talk talk okay. your little hearts away about. Oh Buffy. my God, we can go episode through episode. We can start a podcast. You know, there's a podcast uh, about the X Men. I mean, y'all would starts... probably be all right because there's a lot of people out there yeah. like shitty series. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a podcast I listen oh, to. Oh shit! Juan said he's gonna bring his action figures. Oh, fuck yeah! Line them all up. He'll be like <laughs> on the camera, oh, right, right there. I mean, there's a podcast I listen to that's about the X Men that starts from like episode one and goes all the way through, and it's still going. Comic books? Yeah. Oh wow. And uh, we could do that with Buffy. I mean, not you, because you hate it. But, like, we could watch but episode one. But I could one, sit on the sidelines and everyone's going to go, boo! Boo! Dude, what if we got Sarah Michelle Keller to come in? She's not doing much. You give her, like, 25 Dude. bucks and a couple of tiki drinks. She'd be down. I know. I know. I'd be like, Sarah! Sarah! We got some tiki drinks. She's going to come on going, you got my $25. Dude, her kids are probably like the same age as she was when she filmed that shit at this point. I thought you meant right now. I was like, that don't make any goddamn sense. I wonder what she's doing now. Not very much. Coming Jamie, out is will Daphne. you look up to no, see? No, not Daphne. Vel yeah, Daphne. Daphne, yeah. There's a new Scooby-Doo movie coming out. No way. With her in it? I don't know. I haven't seen those. Uh, Jamie, will you look up to see what the last movie that Buffy was in? Sarah Michelle Geller. I'm I'm not it has to be something good. Wait, was she in Swim Fan? Why do I keep thinking about Swim Fan? Some reason Swim Fan keeps I know what you did last summer. It was a dude. You know I've never seen any of those movies. They're based on Fourth of July. They're all they're all over Fourth of July weekend. I have them all, all on VHS. Did y'all ever see the Final they're Destination movies. movies? Yeah. So they're making one more and it's going to tie. I mean, the last one pretty much tied everything together. It yeah. ends with them getting on the plane. Do you know that? In, from the first one. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And yeah. what is it? She was in an episode of a TV show the called The movie with Hot Tom Cruise? Pink. 2021. Uh, Eyes remember. Wide Shut? That movie? Yeah, she was one of the ones in a mask. With the you big didn't know it was fucking her. schlong? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't know it was her, but she was in it. Man, I read some shit about that movie. It looks like she's doing voice on the Masters of the Universe show. There's a Masters of the Universe show? Oh, I heard it's, uh, it's fucking, what's his name? From Comic Book Man, Kevin Smith. What? Man, I'm getting schooled right now. I don't know what's going on. This is supposed to be our show, and I'm learning so much. She's done a lot of voiceovers, but I think she was in Passion of the Christ? <laughs> Possession of the Christ. Dude, that thing, that was probably one of the best comedies I saw that year. What? Passion of the Christ. Dude, my mom was like, you got to go see Passion of the Christ. It'll change your life. And I'm I like, felt so bad. I took my mom, and she cried. She was crying, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Dude. I knew I should have fucking just took her to see Hot Wet American Summer. The new one? Or the old one. The old one. Dude, the new one I tried to start watching, it was garbage. I was like, it's like, okay, did you ever watch uh, the Bluth Banana Stand show? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I saw some oh, of them. Uh, Arrested Development. I saw some of them. So, okay, so they did the first couple, they did the first couple, and they were good, and they were like, okay, we're getting canceled. We have to do, <laughs> we have to, like, wrap it up, and it was just them leaving on the boat, I think. And then they, and then Netflix or whatever, like rebooted it, and they're like, "Oh, we're gonna." It's that's how I feel about Hot Wet American Summer, and that it's like once the show's over and it's Don't like bring it been back. out a couple years, like it hadn't been on a couple years, all of a sudden you bring it back with the same type of comedy, it just doesn't work. Like the whole like zeitgeist of it, it's true though. 
I, Doug what? Carlos said, what's interesting is that scene from the, with the logs made everyone always say, oh shit, that's some Final Destination shit. Yeah. And yeah, who needs Mel Gibson when you have Mel, Mel Gibson? Who needs Mel Brooks mm. when you have Mel Gibson? Whatever. Blazing Saddles? That shit would not fly today. Dude. My my dad used to have the a different cut than they show now. Like whenever they're trying, I like on Family Guy when it says it's just like if Blazing Saddles was released today, and it shows the title Blazing Saddles, and then it's all the end. <laughs> There's nothing. In it. Like they can't show yeah. anything, dude. The sheriff is a. <laughs> yeah, that was that would not fly today. There, but we had an epi We had it on VHS when I was a kid. And there's a lot of stuff in it that's not in what you watch now if you stream it. It's I really weird. That, dude. No, there's actually some stuff. Just you know, wait. They just what, turned what on was the Webster's they just what turned was, on the hydrogen collider yesterday. What was Webster's dad's name? The white guy that adopted Webster in the, oh, in the man, TV he's show, doing the some football player. Up stuff. Did, What's his name? I don't know his name, but well, his name was Mongo in in uh, Blazing Saddles. That dude's been in some fucked up stuff. Has he really? Yes, playing some racist motherfuckers. I didn't know that. Well, well, so whenever they are trying, when he, the sheriff's trying to capture Mongo, there's like a bunch of different little scenes, like telegram from Mr. Mongo when he takes like the candies and they explode, and it's like a Looney Tunes type thing. There's one, but there's like extra ones in the the version I used to have that they cut out, and so it's like really weird. It's really weird that they cut they, them out. It wasn't anything. It was just like they just cut they them showed. Um, they showed Blazing Saddles at Alamo Draft House, and one of the guys was there. One of the cowboys, Lyric, met him, and she was like, "He's so nice." She got a signed autograph from That's him. That's cool. We go a riding and a whopping. Yeah, Blazing Saddles is so good. Man, I haven't seen it in a while, but it's it? such a great movie. Yeah, I think that there's no way people don't find humor in that kind of stuff anymore. So, I mean, I think like uh, Gene Wilder is like, I don't know. When did Gene Wilder die? Uh, a couple of years ago, maybe. Man, his stuff was so his stuff was so funny and like. But the main character, uh, the the um, sheriff, he died like really young, right? Uh, Cleavon Little, he died really Man, young. He was right? great. That dude was. I, I think Burton Gilliam. I think he died like really young, and I don't and I don't know what. Yeah, here. He... Oh yeah. We're the flying elves. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think uh, Cleavon Little like died really young or something. Like he wasn't in much. Um... Uh, ninety-two. He was fifty-three years old. Oh yeah, that's. I mean, that's pretty young. Yeah, because he wasn't in a whole lot. He didn't. He didn't go on very long. But sad. Yeah, that dude was. He was awesome. Um, is there anything else about Hellbender that we should talk about? No, yeah, I think. Uh... 2016, Gene Wilder died. It's been a while. It's been a long while. Willy Wonka. Did you like him better or um, Amber Heard's ex-husband better? As oh, Willy Gene Wonka. Wilder. Did you? Which movie did you like better? The original. I thought the Tim Burton one sucked, but Johnny Depp was the best part about it because he did his own play on it so okay we talked about uh sinister a couple shows ago two shows ago and you know like they originally i don't even think we brought this up because we drank too much but the director originally wanted to base the killer on um on johnny depp's character from Willy Wonka. Like, that's what he wanted him to look like and act like. Isn't that fucking weird? I mean, that was kind of weird anyways. Like, the, why was the character in, like, a suit? It's kind of weird. Wilder said it was an insult to remake it. Depp sucked, too. Yeah, Tim Burton hasn't made anything. 
Yeah, and the old school one is a horror movie. So yeah. they're saying, so well, get this, they're saying conspiracy theorists said, have you seen the movie Snowpiercer? Yeah. They're saying the train conductor is the kid from the original Willy Wonka. Why? If you there's an hour, two hour long video of the guy <laughs> that put everything together and it makes sense. Like because he owned a candy factory, he started driving a train. You just gotta watch it. It made sense to me, and I'm like, holy shit! Snowpiercer <laughs> is a sequel. That's a pretty good movie. Yeah, it was alright. It's a pretty good movie. It's a definitely a B movie. What is um, that? Or like his other movie when he's Hunter... Hunter S. Thompson. You didn't like, uh... The Terry Gilliam? What's it, uh... I didn't say anything about not liking No, 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 I meant one. Um, oh. What is it? Leaving Las Vegas? Dude, I love Leaving Las Vegas. I have it on VHS. Uh, Benicio Del Toro's best fucking movie. He plays Gonzo. Right? Is that his name in the movie? Damn, the movie's so good. It's a good movie. Yeah. I don't know. Fear and Loathing. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. That's what you're thinking about. Yes, that movie was so good. I think um, I'm going to go home and watch it. I don't know. Do we have anything else to talk about? Juan said, Fear and Loathing is good, but after that movie, that's all Johnny Depp did. What about Pirates, bro? What about Pirates? I like the first couple of Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay. You're right. He's either drunk or on drugs. Yeah, that's pretty much Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. They drink rum from a, for a reason, Pirates do. Yeah. We drank rum tonight a lot. Um, the psych... What? The psychotic scene? The psychedelic scene. <laughs> yeah, that's just Hunter S. Thompson as pirate, yeah. Have you ever seen uh, Where the Buffalo Room with Bill Murray? Where he played Hunter S. Thompson? Yeah. Did, oh, have so you seen cool. the video of Hunter S. Thompson having a shootout with his neighbor while the film crew's there? I think I saw It's crazy. There. They're just like shooting pistols at each other because they're mad at each other. They're legit shooting. Like bullets are like hitting around him and he's just like fuck this guy like it's weird as shit and like dude you're shooting back and forth with your neighbor it was like some weird shit they were having a gun Hunter battle. S. Thompson was just a poor man's William S. Burroughs did they launched him into space right yeah his ashes Johnny Depp did right Johnny Depp paid then to have him like wonders put in why a he's fucking broke yeah also, when I heard Burton was doing really Wonka, I was really looking forward to the boat scene, and it was super quick. So, okay, so what I do like about Tim Burton doing it, because um, I like the books and everything, is that Tim Burton actually put in, um, he, he tried to, like, make the script straightforward from the book, so he, like, put in, the songs are actually, like, all the same and everything, and, and so he tried to... To, I don't know. I don't like the dude he used as a Oompa Loompas. Oh, the one guy they just CGI'd? Yeah. They played that dude. They paid him a million bucks for well, the role. Well, he played like 30 roles. He fucking just played one and they just made copies cool. of him. That's cool. No. It's cool with me. <sighs> well, I'm pretty much done. Unless yeah. you got anything else to add. No, I think that's a wrap. Okay. So what are we watching next week? Uh, I don't know. Are we going to watch the... the? Are we going to do some found footage stuff? It's either going to be found footage stuff or werewolf stuff. Depends mm -hmm. on... On if we have a guest on if or If we not. have a guest or not. Yeah. I mean, it'd be cool if we had a guest on Buffy. and did... did um, <laughs> Buffy. I could talk about Buffy for hours. Oh, God. <laughs> I love Buffy. Um, so... Uh, I still, Dog Soldiers, oh, that's a good one, and Howl. Well, we need to find out if they're going to be a guest or not. Yeah. They haven't so, answered me. Yeah, people aren't texting back, bitches. So, um, I I guess that's probably a wrap, and we can see everybody next week. And we'll keep an eye on the Instagram. We'll tell you what we're going to 
But we're gonna, uh... There's a werewolf from Buffy. There too. is. You know who it is? Seth Green. Seth Green. <laughs> Seth Green. You heard me right, Seth Green? The dude from, um... Family Guy? From Superbad? The cop? Oh, my God. Dude. The one that does that weed stuff now? Oh, my God. Fucking Seth Green. Yeah, the guy from... I know what you did last summer. No. Seth Green. This is the end. Seth Green. Yeah. I can't. I don't. Idle hands. Yeah, dude. The one with the bottle in his head. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, I, I think can't that's, stand that guy. I think that's a wrap. I don't like anybody. Right? Yeah, it is a wrap. Thanks, okay. guys, for joining us. Yeah. It was great. I love talking and chatting. So uh, we'll see you next week. Look through for the Instagram to see what we're going to post, what we're going to watch. We'll let you know during the week. Before Wednesday, at least a couple of days. So, robot chicken. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you. Have a good night. Later.